Alright guys, welcome back to Dune Spice Wars. We're going to be playing the Harkonnen in one of our Discord matches. So as far as the players, myself on Harkonnen, we do have Nani Yori here on Shaddam, the Fremen are going to be Baylard, and then we do have Cyrix here on the Atreides. So we're going to see how this goes. We're going to be getting aggressive, we're going to be doing all the evil space sausage stuff that the Baron loves to do, and um, alright, let's fire this off. Auto. Going to be opening up, making a couple Ornithopters. I like to have three of them. I think three is a pretty good sweet spot for knowing what's going on in the map. And um, we are going to attack this village. Cool. So typically you want to move on top of the village before you attack it because it allows you to immediately then jump on the range unit, which is going to be defending it. Um, you know, if you, that's not a huge deal, but it does save you a little bit of a damage that you would otherwise take on the approach, which can matter in terms of like supplies and different things like that. So... Obviously, we're going to be going big Eco Harkonnen. It's my favorite way to play because it does also enable the nuclear option if we want to, which you can't really do if you play politically because, you know, not only will it take you out of politics, but it also is really expensive. So, all right, let's get another Ornithopter. Pretty good out of the gates. We have a rare mineral right next to us. That is huge, actually. So we're going to take that. Village traits here. Uh, resource production and statecraft, right? Okay, I was going to say, did we accidentally not take our spice field out of the gates? So first things first, instill fear is really good. That lets you just chain pillage and get a lot of value from that. So we're gonna fire that off and let's get the spice field and one big boy there hanging out. All right, so next up we go and take this village. It's a rare mineral. So we're gonna be oppressing the hell out of these two villages here. So Baron's boys are gonna head down there and um, what's defending the village? Okay, two ranged militia. So gotta be a little bit careful about getting poked. So what unique terrain do we have? We have spice fields. Obviously if I can get three spice fields, that's really good because the Baron just makes so much spice by oppressing the villages. He really squeezes. He really squeezes. All right, so we'll get you and get you as well. Outstanding. So we should probably talk about our counselors a little bit. We're gonna change the spice exchange rate in just a moment. Yeah, we'll start off, I suppose, around here. But we do have uh, Beast Robin. He's really good. He gives each village one more militia slot, which for the Harkonnens uh, equates to 5% more income in each village and also more defensible, right? And also he gives you money upon taking out rebels, which is great. So when you're, you know, dealing with your own rebellions from the oppression, you're getting a reward for it as well. Then we have Peter. He's really good. He allows you to sacrifice agents and it permanently reduces the cost of the mission by 15%. And um, they reworked it a little bit, but he's still pretty good. He gives you money per agent that you have currently. So it's not like quite, I don't know if it's a nerf or a buff. I haven't really played with it too much, but it seems like if you're going more politically focused, it can be better because you'll have more agents and whatnot. But anyways, we'll find out. And still fear is going to finish. And as soon as that finishes, we're going to start doing some uh, raids in the villages. So we'll get one heavy militia right here. And let's go ahead and get this. We are going to need to find a Plascrete village next if we can. And it looks like that is ready. Good, good. Good, Hennigan. Yes, let the hate flow. So this village has intel per statecraft building and one militia slot. Militia slots are always nice. Um, anything we want to grab here? Yeah, we can grab that. And this is uh, free tech. Actually, free Plascrete. So we're for sure going to go grab that. And then let's throw down a Plascrete right here which uh, resource and statecraft buildings. Yeah, not getting the best village traits, but we don't care too much about village traits. That's more of a, you know, a Carino problem. Like how's Carino really, really cares about the village traits. So we're gonna need to get manpower. Manpower will go here next. Um, we're about to get some good resources here. Anything we wanna grab up here? Yes, <clears throat> more of this. Finding the sieges is cool and all, but um, typically we're gonna be battling the sieges as the Harkonnens. All right, so we get some intel there, which isn't bad. We can do a probe setup if we want to soon. And we're about to get our first agent. Yeah, as far as tech, yeah, I think we're going to go instill fear. That's going to be the game plan. Then we'll go down to the martial economy. They reworked how water works now, which is great. So um, it's not it's not as annoying as it was before. Like before you had to take the water tech, but now you don't need to. They just reworked the basic water traps. And only the Fremen technically have those now. Totally spaced out. But, you know, so I was getting a little bit rowdy explaining things there. All right, so let's get a militia in there. And uh, we're going to need to get some manpower here pretty soon. We have two good water regions, so that's great. So we're definitely going to sauce that out if we can. And let's get some more Plascrete. And once Instill Fear finishes, we go and start really hammering everything. Okay. Another um, Spice Field here. Our water is still good. And we can probably get up there. Yeah, we have a fuel cell. But that, ooh, this has a good village trait. Yeah, that's the Plascrete trait. So we're going to go grab that. And down here, let's get a Plascrete. And uh, throw one more militia there. Cool. Then we'll start grabbing some water. We should have enough to make it here. It's not that far from our base. And what is this? This is the Desolation. All right. So we can't really worry about them. Or we can't even really capture that. So... All right, so we're gonna get on top of the village and then go after the range unit first and everything else should be fine. You want to assign your first agent to Arrakis typically. That's gonna allow you to get more authority production, which allows you to take bases faster and expand. Um, I don't know if I've seen people go any other directions. Generally, that's been more, you know, the starting attack I've seen from most people. All right, so it looks like we're gonna get this village done, which is great. So let's do this. And now we have our tech and still fear is done. So let's do work ethics. It gives us plascrete manpower. And we're gonna go straight to martial economy and then intelligence network from there. 
since we don't have to rush the water it's not like an auto take anymore right all right great so two spice fields already is um you know the baron the baron is cackling this is great for him so we need to get maintenance centers um where do we want to put those yeah maintenance centers i think we get at the um yeah we just get them we don't have them already as harkonnen do we I know the patch just came out, so a lot of things changed. It was a couple weeks ago, but you know, it's still coming into play. So we're gonna grab this, heal up. Uh, could grab one more trooper, but can't really afford to. Let's go here, and um, we can go ahead and get a manpower building here. And down here, we can go ahead and get the water to make sure we don't run out. And now our new village is ready, so let's get the uh, big stuff going there, looking great. We do have another crashed ornithopter as well. Okay, so we can grab that, and we can also start researching these um, free nodes, these crash huddles around the map. Should have done it sooner, but. Obviously, we're juggling a little bit here. So let's get the Dew Collector. Dew Collectors now give you one water per wind strength of the region. So it's going to give you four water there, which is pretty good. All right. So obviously, we're not going to make it out to the Desolation. We have another free tech over there, which we're going to take. Manpower is coming out. And um, yeah, and we also have the Spice Harvester. So all is good in the realm. And um, we will get this. And then we're going to go start chain raiding these places. Kind of want to leave the Fuel Cell region, but I suppose we might as well hit it. All right. So we get the Crash Ornithopter. Which is great so let's resolve that cool and we can just assign him to a spice harvester to make it a little bit harder to capture and uh for the worms that is we don't want shy halud feasting too hard and we're gonna go start raiding so lands rad's popping up it's gonna be the first lands chad and we have a manpower building now so we're not going to be a complete potato work ethics will give us manpower production and maintenance center as well that's right so then we just slap it down probably right here because then we're going to grab that plast uh, plasteel right there all right, so controlled markets, um, elected faction gains. Yeah, so we just want to make sure we do not get the um, controlled markets. Atreides have a more influence because of the sympathizers, so they could vote on us, which would suck pretty bad. That would really slow us down. So um, we're just eyeing it right now. And um, Baylor says, let's talk about this, guys. All right, so we're going to... Oh, that's all faction suffer. Okay, so we're going to decline the hell out of that with like everything we have. Yeah, that's fine. Because that's like the one thing that would screw us, since we have two spice fields already. We don't really care too much about the other things at this point. So we've, ca we've cast our vote, and while the votes are going, you can still do other things on the map. Um, about to get 2k hedge, which will give us main base building, and we're going to pillage this, pillage this, and then grab this plasteel, though it's right next to the Fremen. Ooh, that's not good. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe screw that. We do have two um, fuel cell territories, which means we could get geothermal condensers very early and get a pretty good little economic boom from that, which is great. All right, let's attack the range unit here. Um, looking at the bases, they're finishing and finishing. Yeah, so I think we'll build the maintenance center in this area here to get the cost reduction. Yeah, looking okay. Yeah, I, I don't want to expand towards the Fremen. Fremen are like really aggressive early, and that's when the Fremen can beat the Harkonnen. I find that late game Harkonnen armies typically will be pretty favored in those little duels, but um, you know, early on it can get messy for sure. All right, let's get another Plasteel building. Let's do some pillaging here. We have a Spice Harvester. Um, let's go ahead and assign an Ornithopter to it. And this Ornithopter, we can now put this in safe mode to uh, keep it from getting eaten. Because they'll get eaten pretty often after the changes. They they made it they made it so they get feasted on. We need to get some intelligence buildings too. Intelligence. Yes, I need my intelligence stat. No, we need to get the uh, knowledge is what I meant to say. All right, so 45 here. Definitely going to go hit this. Just going to heal up for a second. Our water is at 13, so not amazing. Um, could plop down some water here. Um, I do like the idea of a maintenance center right here. It's going to save us quite a bit of money. It's because it's eventually we're going to grab this region, so it'll hit all of those. What do we got here? This is the Solari upkeep region, so it's okay. It's cute, nothing too crazy. And now let's get you also in the uh, safe mode. I don't know what's like better. Maybe for Harkonnens, it's better to just go greed. I'd, I'd like to see like a like actual numbers on like on that, right? To see what the uh, the optimal way to play that is. So manpower, manpower. We're gonna need some more manpower up here, so we'll slap that down next. So let's get one more militia there to make sure it's uh, a decent efficiency because Harkonnen villages uh, take a penalty if they don't have militia in them. So basically, they just suck. All right, so we'll keep raiding, and um, that's good. So then we'll head back to the base after this, get that money. I was playing Atreides the other day, and it's so strange. All right, so, um, oh, we just need to get the, um, cool. We need to get a little bit more water. All right, to complete that quest, which is definitely worth doing. All right, so we got the free military tech. Let's pull you guys back. Go for the free eco tech over here. Uh, maintenance center is coming down. Could slap this down. I do have some heavy militia here. Um, up here, what is the water? The water is three. I think getting a manpower like flow going earlier is better. It's got to be 150 for that though. Our our Plaskery income isn't great at this point. It ain't great, but we're trying. Here yeah, we have the maximum amount of this, and this is going to be popping off in just a second. And let's get that. Boom. All right. So we have another agent again. Going to go on Arrakis here. Um, we can take another territory now. I'm thinking of just grabbing this fuel cell region up here. It has good water, 
And um, it's something that we're gonna take regardless. Then we can put our next maintenance center right here and it's gonna be hitting all three of these territories. So that is the game plan. All right, advanced engineering, martial economy is on the way. Probably wanna get some knowledge buildings soon. I always wonder, cause man, knowledge buildings are, um, knowledge build, yeah, we could just kind of chill here. We can we can stockpile spice, cause the raids suck right now. So we're just gonna be like, you know, kind of rolling with our uh, our evil Harkonnen eco right now. Okay, we only have nine water. So we gotta be careful about pushing out, make sure we have full supplies before we go. Um, could get a gunner. Let's grab a gunner. That's gonna help us grab villages. And yeah, we're not like quite like if the Fremen rolled over Yeah, they're already taking this village We need to get more heavy militia like on our border villages to make sure it doesn't get too scary here um, This has been pillaged. This has been pillaged. This region is a Hedge so building upkeep. Okay. It's not bad at all And I don't know. Let's see if they can get there. Yeah, you don't want to run through the desolation because then you'll lose supplies You'll lose a hell of a lot of supplies and you're, you're gonna suffer pretty hard. All right, so heavy militia. Yeah, let's run up here Oh, it's going to be tight. Our water supplies are really low. There are two range units. I think with good micro, we should be able to get this village. There's a chance we could lose out on it. Um, let's go ahead and buy some chome shares while they're cheap. And uh, let's get on the back and dive and dive. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is going to be scary. Well, you know, Jesus take the wheel, man. Let's see how this goes. So we do have that range unit coming out. Um, let's slap more heavy militia on the border with the Fremen. I think we're barely going to get it. It's going to be a little bit tight. But I think we will. All right. So let's pull you back. Okay. Why are they attacking the melee unit, not the range unit? Oh, God. This is getting so shady. I think we're barely going to survive. We're going to lose one guy for sure to supplies. But the other guys, um, they get bonus DPS when they lose HP, which is kind of nice. So for me, I can actually get this. <laughs> Come on. Okay, we only lost one. That's not too bad. That could have been worse. That was a very risky run. Uh, so while we have water here, we do not have water here yet. So let's go ahead and slap down some water at the dew collector. Do it. Uh, we'll get some dew. And um, we can start selling so we're not in the negative financially. And cool, so more heavy militia on the border with the Fremen. Because they're, they're eyeing us like a piece of meat, dude. They want it. They want it bad. So main base buildings are viable. Um, we need to obviously save up Plascrete here. We have another tech we can research for free. And once we get the um, the water market here, we're going to permanently gain um, quite a bit of Solari, which would be great. All right, so for you, let's just build a Plascrete building. Head down and down. And um, so we have manpower. We have manpower here and here. Okay, so the manpower is not too bad. It looks like Carino's over this way. I definitely don't want Mortal Kombat with the Fremen yet. Not quite ready for that. We we are homies with the Fremen at this point. That's, that is the game plan. This region will be available to take soon. A uh, little bit of pillaging up here. Ooh, and other rare minerals. Man, we're just finding so many good villages right now. So we could hit that and get both of those. Um, we have some statecraft bonuses down here, I think, plus one intel, and then 20% production here. Yeah, our knowledge shock's really bad. We should probably go get Lay of the Land after this. Oh, Rackus' Butchers, that's right. So we get 10 water, and when we kill Militia or Rebels, yeah, that's a new Harkonnen tech. Seems really good to rush. We're actually going to rush that, because it will help us. Uh, yeah, we get Manpower upon killing Militia and Rebels. That's so good. It's very synergistic. All right, so Shai Halud is coming. All is calm in the realm. Very slow start. I feel like we had some... Uh, the Fremen are spying on us. Okay, so that means we need to, um, we need to like, garrison up and uh, garrison up. Yeah, that's heavy militia. I think we're okay. They're just kind of keeping tabs on us, which I don't like. And this is finished. So let's keep getting the free technologies where we can. Take the free military tech. And our harvester uh, looks like it escaped Shai Halud's wrath. The evil, evil Shai Halud. We're about to get a main base building. I think what we're going to build out of the gates is going to be the administrative hall. It just gives you money per village and authority. Um, yeah, this also isn't bad, the water. So we're just hanging here, playing it very cautious. We could build that, um, but let's go ahead and do this. It gives us three income for each village we have. It's very, very good, but we need to get more Plasteel. We do get the Plasteel up here. Let's get some heavy militia, and now we can go ahead and get more water in that region as well. And Landsrat is reconvening. When the Fremen start doing those like actions on you, that's why I'm not like pillaging right now. I'm just kind of sitting back and seeing if they're going to attack me. I'm very suspicious. All right, let's go here so I don't lose those guys. Lands Chad's coming up. We're going to see what's on the table. Um, and yeah, all's good so far. So manpower recruitment cost, um, that's pretty good. The elected faction, so yeah, Carino's got 160 Atreides. So Carino's going to win this. Um, we can try and do this. Yeah, we're going to try and get that for ourselves because there's no way we're going to win that because Carino's got way more uh, influence than us. We just have like 50 plus your 100 base, right? So yeah, Carino steamrolled that. That's why I didn't waste my votes on it. Um, so we ended up getting manpower reduction, which is great. Looks like the Fremen get the Fremen Descent. So now we can go ahead and recruit some more troopers, considering we have the um, we have the cost reduction on manpower, right? Which is great. And we're going to get a little bit of dough from this, and let's complete that. So we permanently gain 30 Solari. Outstanding. 
And um, yeah, we need to get some knowledge. I do see the Emperor moving over here. He's, he's eyeing it. Who's the Emperor? That's going to be Nani Ori, eh? Mm, extra evil schemes, I'm sure. And uh, we'll head down. This region is almost available to grab. We're going to have a lot of power cells, which um, will be good. Arax's Butchers will give us manpower upon killing things. We complete the military attack, and now Arax's Butchers is going to be grabbed. Okay, so let's see if we can get this special region real quick here. Ay ay ay. I don't think they're going to attack me. They could do a little bit of a pillage over there if they want to, but my army is decent. I probably could have mobilized to fight them terribly efficiently, sadly. So yeah, I, I don't know. We do have the acid lakes here as well. Okay, so what do we got here? We have enough water now that I don't think we're going to suffer too badly. So let's get in there and we can just methodically target these down. Let's get you on the back. I'm going there. Cool. We'll have two more troopers popping out in a second. We just need to do a little bit of micro, make sure we don't lose anything here. Um, we might lose you if we're not careful. All right, so let's do this, and then you can pull back and shoot. A little bit of scooting and shooting there. Just tether them, and we should be okay. Great. Okay, come on, boys. Come on. Oh, maybe they changed the AI so you can't kite them as easily. They might have. Interesting. All right, so we're holding on with our resources. We have you guys. Let's move up there. Um, are we getting attacked by anybody? I don't think so. Gotta always be looking around. Those Fremen neighbors giving me anxiety for sure. And manpower building, so we'll get the manpower. Yep, and it seems we've researched the, um, we can now start oppressing. So let's get you on space and guilds, and let's take this. We're for sure going to oppress that region, and this region. Everything's basically going to get oppressed here. All right, let's get some more heavies to fully garrison out that region here. Just make us, like, a very, very tough turtle to crack. Martial economy is up just about, and we didn't lose anybody. Get those troopers down here. We need to oppress this, so this will be one of the first regions we'll start oppressing. And um, Chome shares are on a discount right now, but we'll eventually buy our way. There's not like a huge rush, rush with Chome. What do we have here? Revealing a siege. And um, we got some spice harvesting. We can do that. It's still good to know where the sieges are as Harkonnens, even though it's not like a huge priority for you. You still still want to kind of keep tabs on them, right? All right. So yeah, man, that tech, the Arax's Butchers, is going to be so nice when we get that. That'll definitely help with the chain pillaging and all that. Okay. So we have the building slot here. Office of the Order is 150. So let's get you guys back to the main base. And um, maintenance center needs to be slapped down right here too. But first, let's start oppressing if we can. Great, great. These bad boys heading back to the base. Fremen are eyeing it, but I do have four heavy militia. Unless they shy Hulud over, we should be okay. And uh, military tech, yeah, Rax is butchers. And eventually, eventually, I swear, the Harkonnens are going to build some knowledge buildings. Eventually. Probably in this region, although it is for water too. There's just so many other fun things we can build. Why would you waste your time with that, you know? So we got that. Looking good. And um, then we're going to need some... Uh, yeah, so we get that. Then we get a maintenance center here. That's going to be really good. And then we can oppress this region too to get some nice dough. We can pillage this again. Every time we pillage a village with Harkonnens, it's uh, cheaper than when you go back, basically. All right, so looking around here, we do have that propaganda spreading if we want to. This is pretty close to the main base, thankfully. So we're going to get a little bit of milk here and get some help. Chum share is available to buy. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, we're not, we're not in a rush for that. Okay, so that's going, and once Arrakis's Butchers is done, we can do the um, Lay of the Land after that. Yeah, that's going to be the play. All right, so Raiders are coming here. Thankfully, we already have garrisoned. Um, this is only pretty lightly garrisoned back there, and we need to get the fuel cells. Yeah, we need to need a lot of things. Okay, the Emperor is kind of creeping up on me. I don't like how close he is. It's definitely not fun. Um, is he going to take that village? Probably just going to pillage it. Okay, he started with early Sardaukar. So that means, um, you know, fighting the army early would be kind of foolish for me unless I could... Like, right now, I could go troll them. For sure. Um, I don't think I could win it. Yeah, we'll see if they're going to capture it. If they are, uh, I mean... No, they're just pillaging. Okay. That's fine. I just wanted to make sure they weren't grabbing it and getting all of our goodies. Okay, so the siege has been revealed. Um, it is in our territory, and it gives us malicious... Oh, yeah, we got to ally that siege. The Baron normally would, you know, not ally with the Fremen here, but we, uh, we, we, that is a really good one. It makes all your militias, like, super, super top tier. All right, so we're about to get another main base. Um, yeah, so we'll get Lay of the Land, and let's go ahead and start getting some statecraft buildings if we can. Though we don't really have the slots here. Anyways, main base building is active, so this gives us Plastic Creek production and also gives us money for each uh, fully constructed village which is very good to have. The Plastic Creek production is mainly the good thing. That's like what you're there for. And let's get some actions if we can. So let's get this. And um, Scavenger Teams is always a good one to have on, on back pocket. Basically, every unit that dies in a territory, you get to like convert them into uh, money. All right, so up here, the oppression is in full effect. Um, we want to get some knowledge now if we can. Got to start working on that a little bit. So we're not an absolute potato. And we're going to pillage that. Definitely not going to take the middle. That would be foolish. 
And uh, we got some militia slots, so let's garrison everybody out. And we want to do that to make all our villages more efficient. Heavy militia are the ideal way. I, I, don't, I don't know. There are other options, but really just... Like, people just... Uh, the heavy militia just holds so well. They just do everything you want them to do. Like, five heavy militia, good luck killing that with an early game army. Okay, let's take this. Do a little bit of pillaging here. Um, we're doing fine in the chome. Well, we're going to be doing fine in the chome, is what I meant to say. So we'll pillage that, and we do have a lot of authority, so I think we'll just annex one of our regions that we've been kind of softening up. We're instilling fear in these nearby uh, villages, and we'll go instill fear in this one, too. So, yeah, only two spice fields kind of sucks. It looks like the Fremen have another one over there. Granted, um, yeah, we do have two rare mineral sites, so that's kind of helps compensate for that um, potato situation, right? So that's going. Um, how are the militia hanging on? You see the ranged militia always kind of get karate chops a little bit. And now we want to slap down a maintenance center there if we can. But yeah, 400 plastic. That is a lot. Okay, so knowledge is going. This uh, region has cheaper buildings, which is really good. So you want to be building your special regions there if you can. And lay of the land is going to give us knowledge. Lands chat is on the way. We can take this in 12 days. See how a little, a little bit of time still. Um, we can just hustle down here and take this down. And we can bank authority too. It's not, uh, it's not always a bad idea to just sit on authority. Like you don't want to obviously wait too long um let's get office of the order here and start oppressing this because why not it's cheaper and then we can build the space and guild branch there okay all factions gain one benny jesuit agent um the north pole costs no authority to annex oh that's interesting and the elected faction this is the one we want but it depends on what carino is going to go for i have to kind of think of that um carino is going to go for this and they're going to get it um so yeah i guess we just save our votes we'll put like the bare minimum into infrastructure control and see, like, just our 100 free votes. That's it. Um, we're going to save the rest of it. Because these are these are for all players, right? So we're just going to vote that and, you know, call it a day. Heading down. We could grab this, the propaganda, to give us the authority. Um, the middle is going to be free to annex. But we just pillaged it, so nobody's going to be able to annex that. We have the maintenance center. Office of the order is needed here. And now our spice is flowing, so we can start selling a little bit more. And Lanzarad should be finishing up soon. It looks like the Atreides... Holy shit, I actually, I actually won that! What the hell? Oh, Carino forgot to spend its votes. Or maybe they're saving it for something else. So the Bene Gesserit agents are awesome. They count as two. So we're going to put her in Chome, and that will count as two in Chome. And that's really going to sauce up our economy. And um, yeah, we can start just rolling dirty from there. So we'll get Lay of the Land. Take this down. You guys get behind the troopers. And um, let's move up and go on the range units. Not following my own advice. Gotta love it. Just being lazy. You know how it goes. All right, so we're going to get this, and then from here, we can get the Office of the Order. The fact that we got infrastructure control is so good. We're going to be making a bunch of money now and advancing quite quickly. So Lay of the Land is going to be popping off. That's good. Um, this region is Data Center Hedge, which isn't that good. We just want to get the uh, fuel cells going. So let's get the fuel cells. Um, yes, pop you off, and we can oppress them too to get double fuel cells, which lets you have a ton of special buildings. Granted, it can backfire on you sometimes if uh, the rebellions go too wild and uh, kind of cancel them. All right, so Office of the Order there and there. We need it here too. Um, here we have our knowledge building and Office of the Order is gonna be going down there. We have a lot of money. Um, wow, Carino is going hard on the chome. I'm gonna probably have to kill them at some point or try to at least. So that's gonna be a ways off, but if they're buying all the chome shares and the old Baron isn't getting any, then we're gonna you know, have to have to say something about that. All right, so the lay of the land is active. Let's go ahead and get geothermal condensers, yes. So our knowledge is now seven, which is, you know, better than it was a moment ago. This region should be available in seven days. Okay, so we still have a little bit of time. So hard to not want to pause the game. Yeah, no worries, man. No worries. No worries. Keep it up. Keep it up, my friend. Okay, so what do we got up here? Yeah, we have this region, this special region. Um, yeah. Do we want to get that? Acid Lakes Research Hub? Yeah, probably a good idea, honestly. It is right up on the Fremen, though. They're probably going to attack me as soon as I see that. So let's get some more um, troopers. And get like a sizable force when we go over there. Also, um, we can get the worm call. Yeah, because they're Fremen are gonna see us on their borders and they're gonna be like, no. <laughs> no, not today. Not today. Alright, so main base buildings. We can go ahead and get um we can get the statecraft ones. So probably knowledge and research gains here. We'll do this because that gives us a little bit of influence in Intel production. <clears throat> We're not gonna play politics too much. Baron can play politics, but Typically, it's not my favorite way to play them. All right, so let's go here and manpower and manpower on those regions. Got the Accursed Storms, everybody's favorite who plays this game. We all we all know how that goes. And that should be free soon. Yeah, this this region could be good. We could set up some missile turrets. Um, see, yeah, we literally just have the extra militia slot there. And then we need an Office of the Order here, too. They eat up a ton of manpower, though, so you need to, um, you need to, you need to be building manpower buildings in tandem with them in, like, pretty much every base. 
So we have one there, we have one there. We don't have one here yet. We're going to build one here and then build a special building, and that should solve our problems. We are getting two knowledge by pressing that, which is good. Slow that down. Cursed Storms. So we're going to head here. I don't know if the Fremen are going to be expecting an attack. We do see the Imperials kind of on the other side. The fact that we have double fuel cell is great, though. That's really, really nice. And um, we can start pressing this region, too. Press everything. Press everything, Baron. All right, so reveal another siege. And we have you, free military tech. Let's keep looking around. I mean, we're getting pretty good progress in military, just from the free technologies. We see a sizable army of the Emperor coming this way, so a little bit scary. I don't know what they're up to. Um, if they start moving towards my base, I'm gonna worm call them. So we gotta watch, yeah, because we have the decoy thumper. Uh, it doesn't look like they're going to. Yeah, we gotta watch out though, because Karino's military is really good. The, um, the drones, the siege drones, are like one of the most busted units in the game. They're very good, so we got we to gotta watch out and pay, pay some respects with those. All right, so we're going to grab this region here. Uh, let's tag the range units if we can and tag the other range units. We need to get it quickly and just get militia set up there. Um, but yeah, I, I really just want the knowledge in this region. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm here for. Okay, so the main base is going and looking good. Cool. Need knowledge. I'm not going to be... Um, I'll be fighting Emp eventually. So I'm, I'm the Baron is using his um, his cunning ta uh, diplomacy here with the Fremen. You know, I'm trying to be like, hey, homie, I'm not going to attack you. We're going to be eyeing the Emperor. That's really going to be the thing. So, yeah, that's 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 my game plan. I got no beef with you. Hell yeah. All right. So we're the, the Baron politics. Okay. So we get this region. We can fully sauce this one out. Um, Kind of did that at a bit of an inopportune time. And uh, we just want to get knowledge here. Knowledge is power. Yes. And for you, special region, let's go ahead and get the um, spacing guild branch so we can start trading for spaceship parts. And good. Because we want to get our big ship. Main base is completed. Resource deficit and manpower. Pretty normal when you're just kind of running around. But we get manpower from bullying militia. So it's pretty straightforward for us. Geothermal condensers is up. Let's get the intelligence network and spying logistics now and start working on our agents a little bit. And uh, good. So that's going to be completely sauced over there. And uh, I don't think we'll have any issues. All right, Chome shares, do we want to buy? The Emperor's kind of slowing down on the Chome buying. Seems like maybe financially they're not as happy as they once were before. Another main base building. Um, we want to get this. Yeah, we need spying logistics. So hopefully it will finish. So four days left and um, we might just need to slap something else down to make sure we start our progress on it. So let's go ahead and get the uh, manpower, the recruitment center. Well, because it's on discount right now because of the uh, tech we have. Okay, looking good, looking good. The Baron economy is awesome. Um, for sure, getting the experimental furnace here wouldn't be bad. Yeah, like right here for the resource production. Although, hmm. yeah, no, uh, yeah, no, right here, actually. Yeah, well, it doesn't hit that one also. A little bit funky. All right, so we got the goods here. Um, do we want to do the Office of the Order here? It does eat a bit of manpower, but it is going to give us a, a nice little boost on uh, fuel cells too. So we can spam special regions and big ships and stuff like that. And I'm going to experiment. Usually I'm, I only do it in my spice fields, but today we're going to be trying it. Uh, no rush on it. Yeah. I don't want to, I don't want to abuse the, my friendship with the Fremen here. You know, we, we got to be pals. So we'll get a listening post that gives us a little bit of influence. Um, if we're in conflict with them, which we are. So that will give us that. And you, we need to get some manpower buildings. Um, so we have a maintenance center right here, right? No, we don't. Where's the maintenance center? So we actually don't have one here. Okay, so this is going to be a huge economic boom for us when we get that going. Cool, and let's get you, and um, looking good. So Lands Chat's going to be starting. This reduction point is going to be hitting all of these spaces, and then down here we have this one. So, ooh, Chum buying price. We definitely vote that on Carino if we can. Um, we could get the gear regulations on us, but I think it would be too hard for somebody to aggress us. So we're going to be putting this on um, Carino. Or trying to. They might put it on us, which we don't care. We're just saving money right now. So um, yeah, all right. So let's go ahead and... Oh, all factions gain that. So let's support that for now. Just to pump the brakes. So we're going to support that. Oh, man. It, it, it's, it's kind of buggy. It gets like sticky. And um, yeah, that's fine. All faction suffer. So we're just going to confirm that with like our baseline votes and go from there. Okay. So we got a couple nice main base buildings. Um, spying logistics will be coming down. And... Um, then we need to get start going down the chome tree, like hard, hard, hard. I don't want to start buying chome until I have chome support, which gives us um, reduced cost to buying them. It's it's a bit of a slower slower roll tech, but at the end of the day, it should work out. All right, so we got rebellions, um, some of which are fremen, 
we share borders and we have enough authority. Definitely got to go pillaging again, so we'll, we'll, we'll go there. Just kind of like was playing cautiously to make sure I wasn't going to get zerged or swarmed by any early Fremen. And now that it seems we have a bit of a topical peace with them, we can chill out. Um, I have a lot of money, so let's just buy that authority. Why the hell not? And we have a brainwashed agent, my favorite. So let's go ahead and sacrifice the agent for combat drugs, which we'll do in a moment. And excellent. So we got that base. Let's get some militia there. All right. So this region's being oppressed, making us a ton of money. And let's go hammer the space down. Our water is pretty good at 26. So fully built, fully built. Um, we got knowledge here. And um, what else do we want in that region? I guess just manpower after that would be good. It's so nice when you're playing Atreides that you can build all those extra extra regions. So what would I want to take? Um, this gives us what? It's a little bit of knowledge. Um, we can do a supply drop here. And then we can do the combat drugs. Cool. So we have the combat drugs in the back pocket. Supply drop and the dreaded storms have landed on our heads. Uh, the middle, is it free still? No, it's not. Okay, and we do have a Plasteel region down here, which we could go grab. It is a little bit close to the Fremen, but yeah, we're going to pillage that again. It's just, uh, it's a good, it's sometimes good to keep a base like that just to kind of beat up over and over just for free money as the game goes on. We've got to be one of the richer players, I suspect. Um, spying logistics is almost done. And then from here, we can go ahead and get the um, Insulated Valley and then Chome Integration. Yeah, we don't need to worry about military yet. We just want to become an economic powerhouse. And then we can use our money to uh, steamroll, right? So this region here is kind of cute. I think I'm going to go pillage it for now. Um, we could take the middle just to get that water. But middle is so risky. It's very, very risky. Our base is expanding well, though. All right, so spying logistics is up. Um, now we need to get the insulated valley, which gives us water and upkeep production. 163 for this. This isn't a bad spot to take, I suppose, because it does give us um, income for the... Yeah, 6% of the village's Solari upkeep as knowledge. Yeah, and anything to augment our really haggard knowledge is good. All right, so let's start trading. Um, we don't have the authority right now. Soon we will. Soon we will. Once I get that um, other base building online here. Yeah, so we want to get the intelligence agency. That gives us two more agent slots, and then we can go. All right, so more militia being bashed there, which is good. We have three influence production. We can build another listening post here since we're in conflict with them. Uh, oh, no, that we're not, actually, because the uh, that's right. The pack thing went through earlier. Okay, so let's sacrifice you to Toxic Vapors eventually. So we're just going to sit there. And um, yeah, we need to get the Interrogation Center. Probably should get that first. So we're going to cancel this. Interrogation Center from Enhanced Questioning is super good. It's one of the best best landmarks that Harkonnens have. It um, Basically what it does is if, uh, when you're oppressing, when you kill enemy units, any units, you can get um, you can get intel from that. So like all your rebels, you're just farming intel from them. All right, Carino's coming. A little bit aggressive. I don't like it. You know, not a big fan. Let's make some militia and let's make a missile turret here if we can. All right, so we're gonna head back over. Carino might. They landed an imperial base right in our face, though. Um, we'll do a worm call if they're gonna try and move on us here. Did they cancel the non-aggression pact? Um, doesn't look like it. Yeah, they 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 probably just realized they're in a non-aggro pact with us. Yeah, probably. All right, let's go counter intel for now. Uh, I'm going to have to get counter intel soon. Carino could for sure try and assassinate us, and it wouldn't be a bad idea by any stretch of the imagination. All right, so let's get you. We got a missile turret, so that base is going to be safe for now. Um, we actually do get the influence. Oh, did they change listening posts while neighboring an enemy region? Okay, so I guess if they're just like an enemy, it does, it's fine. It it, it counts. Um, militia here are rebelling. It looks like they're going to deal with that. Looking fine. Oh, I don't know why I was like, clicking on the wrong unit there. So we need to get an airfield here too. Um, probably get an airfield. Yeah, we don't have any way of getting it down there. Those bases are fully developed. I mean, I could delete. So this siege, we really want that for the militia. And this siege is a little bit out of range. So I'm not going to worry about that too much. We're pretty rich. Um, but man, those shares are expensive because of the... Uh, yeah, oh, we got gear regulations too. That's, that's funky. I believe it's hitting everybody though. I don't think it's just me. All right, so over here, what do we want to get? Do I want to get the tech advancement? Um, the experimental furnace can go here. That's going to hit this. It's going to hit my two regions that are um, and the spice field. So that's really good. That's really good. So basically this building, it um, gives you 30% economic production. So in the neighboring region. So this one and this one up here, both of which are uh, pretty sauced. Yeah, they're pretty damn good. And we don't have that. I could start trading for some ship parts. So let's do that. I need, I'm going to need my big ship if I want a chance of beating Carino. So I think we're going to start sacrificing our... Um, we can go into Lanzarad. Let's actually put the Bene Gesserit in Lanzarad. She counts as two levels. So that will give us enough to not go in the negative here. All right. So from here, we can get a... Um, hmm, probably an airfield is going to be good. So we can do an airfield like as far south as possible. So we can like land on that Imperial base. Good. 
Because we should be able to steamroll that. And if you can kill their Imperial base, like, it's really bad for them. It's a really, really bad time. All right, so we got that. Our, our influence is now in the positive, which is great. Um, and we do have the interrogation center, which we're going to want pretty soon here. I really need to get the um, the countermeasures. Yeah, I think we just skip the eco tech for now and just go straight to countermeasures because I don't want to get assassinated. That would feel really, really bad. All right, so Landsrad Council. Yeah, we can save our money and our Plascrete for now over here in this region. Um, we could get a turret just to make sure. Always good to you know err on the side of safety. Are we looking down here? Okay. And the experimental furnace is going to pop off. That's going to be really nice. What regions are not fully developed? Um, fully developed. Looking good. Looking good. And we're kind of running out of space to expand a little bit. But, I mean, I'm definitely going to try and kill that Carino main base at some point. Um, I'm thinking of coming down and grabbing this. Uh, can we pillage this again? It look, looks like no. So we're going to go do some pillaging elsewhere. And uh, now this region is ready. So what do we want to get here? Probably a listening post. Just so we can get some influence and not be a complete potato. And, um, all right. Let's see, what do we want to choose? Reveal a siege? Sure, why not? Sieges, you know, like I said, come in handy to the Harkonnens later. So we'll just grab all these for now, since we're not going to be, like, researching most of those. Yeah, and we'll go from there. So, did we lose one harvester? No, I think there's a rebellion going on. Okay. The experimental furnace is going to be popping off. That's going to give us a ton of money. We're going to be pretty rich when that finishes. Land Chad coming up. We have a little bit of influence, back, you know, kind of banked in the back pocket here, but it's going to be a minute. So yeah, I think most of our regions are done correctly. Controlled markets, the elected faction gets. Okay, so, ooh, Krino's gonna vote me for that for sure, which is gonna suck. Um, I could, yeah, it's not everyone, so he's gonna vote me. If, if he does, that gives me a reason to be aggressive too, though, but it's gonna be a waste before I get aggressive. It's gonna be a little bit of time. All right, so yeah, that's gonna go on me, unfortunately, unless Carino forgets their votes. Um, I'm gonna vote that on, um, I'm gonna try and get that on Carino, because I don't want that. I don't want it. All right. So we're just going to put all our votes, what we have here, on those bad boys and confirm it. All right. That's not going to make me any friends, but, you know, who needs friends when you're a giant space sausage? All right. So interrogation center is going to be our next building. So we got the knowledge and that. We're at 14, which isn't bad. And um, hopefully we don't get that. Listening post coming up. Yeah. That imperial base has to die. We can't just let them here. And then we can take those spice fields and, you know, hopefully the Fremen will chill out on the other side. Um, Toxic Vapors is here. And we didn't get the controlled markets. Good. Somebody else got it. Outstanding. Outstanding, dude. That's really, really good. Okay, gather up. Uh, this region's being developed. We got a missile turret coming down. We'll definitely get an airfield there, too. Because that is a very, very vulnerable point of the map. We get the intel. You head down here. You can see our water is constantly uh, in a very problematic situation. Might as well just get some water there, too. And where can we get water here? We can get water up in this region, and, um, yeah, we need to. Because that's the problem with having your oppressed villages be your water centers, is um, you can get wrecked pretty good on that. All right. So let's get this and get the interrogation center. It's a staple for Harkonnen. It's what allows you to spam agent actions like, like bananas. Okay, so we got the toxic business. Toxic vapors is really good. If somebody tries to invade us, we could just be like, hey, give me, like, two minutes, basically. You know, we, we got things to do. All right, so water and water, revealing a siege. Um, so that one is there. This one is, uh, gives us knowledge. Yeah, but it's not worth it, I don't think. The experimental furnace is jacking these bases up. You can see, like, the spice up here is also going to be augmented. This this experimental furnace is super, super good. Um, so what is within the uh, range? Yeah, so you can see the little upkeep thing. That one's not because it's off the beaten path. But this one is, this one is, this one is, and this is not. We want the upkeep to be kind of high here, though, because it correlates the knowledge. It will give us knowledge, like I showed you guys earlier. Um, all right, so let's get another fuel cell here. And um, do we head south and do some raiding? Yeah, I think we do. Definitely got to start eyeing the Emperor. We are still in the positive in influence. Uh, How is our agents looking? The Bene Gesserit is in Landsrad right now, but we're going to need to start slapping some encounter intel that aren't haggard, you know, brainwashed agents. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Cruel reputation is okay. That one's not that good. It gives us political treaty. I could, I should try and befriend the Fremen a little bit more. Uh, let's see if they want to give us a, um, these two agreements. Yeah. That would be very beneficial for us. So one is knowledge and one is um, in uh, income. Because I'm not going to be expanding too much. They took it. Yeah, because you know, obviously I'm going to be taking an authority penalty, but I'm kind of just running out of space to expand anyway. So I'm like, whatever, let's just like sauce up what we already have, right? All right, we're, we're going in counter intel there. I don't want, you know, people to start slipping agents around my territories. Let's get that. Pillage the middle. And um, cool. So this is looking good here. 
The furnace is there, so there's some uh, some bonuses. Yes, good. Pillage that, and we move over, and we could actually take this region, but I don't want to antagonize the Fremen. I really, really don't want to. I'm trying to trying to use them for my own my own means here, you know. Classic classic evil evil Baron things. All right, let's start buying some Chome. Try and get to 10%. 10% Chome is nice because you can buy Mercs and do different things like that. Um, so if you take a look at 10%, you get influence production and mercenaries, which are super, super good. So we're just going to keep pillaging these regions and save them for later, basically. Okay. So everything's looking fine. We're about to get countermeasures. Um, spy mastery is really good, too. Um, I need to go down here, though, after. I'm really putting this off for the sake of caution. So my, my economy could be a lot better, but I'm, I'm just being overly cautious. I think. I hope it's the right idea. All right, so up here, let's go ahead and slap down an airfield next. Um, I could get the research hub place since I do have more fuel cells, but I'm going to need to save some for my mothership. So um, what we're going to do is just build an airfield. This region is like the worst region of the game to have to take because the acid legs like melts your units. It's really funny. Um, all right, let's get a barracks. Might as well. And um, do we have militia on everything? We do. Up here, we want to get an airfield. So let's get an airfield, slap that bad boy down. Another unassigned agent, so it is a sacrificed agent, but for now we can just put them on Chome. The ones that have these little, um, when the Harkonnens kill enemy units, you get a chance of gaining a brainwashed agent. So that's what that is, that little icon. But they're crappy agents. They generate 10% less resources. So you, what you do is you sacrifice them, and um, you get all the goodies there. All right, so how are we looking? Um, yeah, countermeasures is almost there. And once that's up, we can um, put a third agent on, on counter intel. And uh, we'll sacrifice some. I definitely need to like start getting aggressive, I feel. This base, though, we don't want to attack that until we can like alpha strike it and just like knock it off the face of the earth, right? And do we have the friendship with the siege here? Um, we do. All right, so we're going to grab you. Uh, the Benny Gesserit is so useful there. All right, let's just grab one of these haggard brainwashed agents and just throw, him, throw her in there for now. All right, so now our militia have 50% more health, which is going to make us like extremely difficult to push. Extremely difficult, right? Um, here we're looking fine um, that region is being pillaged and yeah we literally have nowhere to go I mean I, at this point I think I'm going to take this village just to you know have something to do I mean I could pillage it but it does give us money for plastic reproduction which is quite good so if we oppress that it's, it's going to be a pretty financially decent village all right we'll buy a little bit more chome 20% here for Carino though Carino is looking very menacing all right so counter intel is up so let's go ahead and slap um, you up on counter intel. Take you haggard brainwashed agent and do this. And we'll use the scavenger team here just to free up some of our sacrificed agents because we want to be sacrificing them um, pretty consistently to get the uh, the cheaper missions. Oh, no, wrong one, damn it. Okay, how are we looking down here? All right, we're clearing that out. Oh, let's take it. And uh, I don't, I don't want to go like over on authority, right? Okay, so sleeper agent is there and um, toxic vapors. What happened to that agent we just threw in there? Wasn't it just there? Did it just die or something? That was weird. It says scavenger teams. Should be on scavenger teams, right? Which, oh, I don't have enough. Oh, I just lost it because my chome level was bad. Oh, that's really shitty. That was a, you know, certainly not fortuitous timing. All right. So hopefully more agents soon. Um, we're gathering up here. Our, they could come and attack me here, but hopefully I can just get the um, militia in position. Okay, let's do that and get a little missile turret here and see if they want to get crunk. If they do, I think I'll be able to fend them off using my missions. Certainly not my armies, but um, I do have an airfield up here and a missile turret. And we can also get a military base. Let's slap that down. Main base building um, is going. And what do I want to build here? Nothing yet. Land Chad's coming up. We do get this region. We're going to get the missile turret. And it looks like it is under the... Oh, the, the furnace is hitting this region too. That's really nice. That's great. So yeah, this is clearly where the, the party is going to take place at some point or other. We don't know when. That's going to give us Harvester Works, which we don't care about too much. Um, we have an extra Militia slot down here. Okay, so the Elected Faction gains 33. Yeah, I don't really have any... like I'm going to try and get this. Although, you know, I'm just going to put the baseline 100 in that. Yeah, and just chill. I wonder what the Atreides and Fremen are up to. Fremen are expanding pretty wildly. Um, Atreides will probably just turtle in the bottom. It's usually what they do. The Baron's attention is needed. All right, so we're just going to try and get this. I seriously doubt we're going to, but yeah, let's just see what happens. All right, so I have countermeasures. Um, looking good. We got to deal with some Fremen Rebellion. So we have this one down here. And we have taken this region. Let's clear that out. Farm some goodies. Uh, as far as Chome, yeah, we're going to keep buying to make it harder for them to get the Chome like, for free. 
even though it's a bit of an investment, I think it's worth doing. All right, so that's going to be cleared out. And we got the military base here in a moment. 68, yeah, our, our economy will get better once we get the Chome tech going. It's still pretty good, um, all things considered. Uh, let's get you in Chome for now. All right, so, yep, that is finishing. We don't want to hit this base till we have, like, the, this, the hard siege tech, really. And spaceship parts, we're at 67, so it's coming along. Um, other special base buildings we can get. Um, we could slap down the... So how much is that going to be? That is going to give us quite a bit of research. Or we can get the uh, military factory, but that's that really ruins your economy, the military factory does. Yeah, it gives you the dirty. For sure, the spice gathering for now is a good building to get because it affects nearby regions. And here, um, we can... How's our plasteel looking? Our plasteel is pretty damn good. So we can go ahead and cut this down and get the spice augment here so we can gather more spice. It gives you 20% more spice, which is very, very strong. All right. So I don't think Carino is going to want to attack us at this point. Um, main base buildings, yeah, we need to get the Chome Branch. Chome Branch is really powerful. Um, prices are a little bit low right now, so we're going to buy. We're going to buy the dip here, and uh, we're going to head down to the south, do a little bit of pillaging on these regions. Could grab one if the uh, moment arises. As far as our airfield network goes, let's take a look. So yeah, we have this, this. We have nothing to get down here, which is a little bit haggard. But overall, our militia are going to be an unholy nightmare. So this one is the Plascrete region, that's right. All right, so lose Plascrete for manpower. No, thank you. I'm pretty good on manpower. And uh, do we pillage this? We can't pillage any of these. They've all been getting hammered over and over. Looks like we could head down there. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Let's go. Let's go hammer that. Oh, hello. All right, so clearly somebody's looking a little bit ornery over here. We do have missile turrets, and they're going to be in for a rude awakening when they see how good our militia are, that's for sure. Uh, sleeper agents, we'll just kind of keep that. Let's go ahead and get that for the intel at this point. And almost, almost got the Chome Branch. Once we slap that down here, it's the one that gives you um, better exchange rates. So if the exchange rate's high, ooh, that's really good, actually. We should definitely, definitely sell right now. So you can see our money is pretty fat. We're, we're doing well. The experimental furnace is in a good spot. And we could get that special special base there. Um, the, the mothership is going to require how many fuel cells? It's 10. And then the um, research hub building is how many? That is... Oh, we already have a major building there. Okay, so we'll build that in a different region. Regardless, uh, here, do we want to do any sort of oppression? I don't think so. I think just another knowledge building. Yes. Ain't going to be bad. Yeah, these troops look pretty good. Um, riflemen, okay. Let's get that maxed out. And um, we still want to stockpile a little bit of spice so we don't miss our tax. And now the Chome Branch is buildable. So let's go ahead and slap that in there. And um, from here we get military and then we just kind of get whatever extra buildings we need. All right, so the Plascrete there is going off. Um, we can get another listening post. The more listening posts we spam, the more free um, influence we get. And you know, if we get the Mothership first, we can definitely push them. Uh, Carino's armies don't look too scary. They're kind of playing a bit of a greed build like I am too. We almost got 10%. Um, let's like buy and see if we can push to 10. No, oh, it didn't quite get us there. Okay. Come on. All right, great. So we're at 10% chum now, which means we're going to get two extra uh, influence on the political spectrum. And uh, let's make some troopers. Let's get some of you guys. We need to get some big boys in case I get attacked. You don't want to be at max anyways of, uh, of those resources. All right, so that looks good. We're getting 100 there. Uh, we have 201 influence, man. Um, if I could grab that fuel cell region, that'd be pretty cool. I don't see it being something I can sustainably hold. I would wager the Fremen will take it. Um, data center is, I don't know, I'm not Harkonnens get so much like mission stuff, like always, you know, that I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. We could just grab the middle and take the water though. That's super dicey. That's really, really dicey. Cause then people can use it against me politically, but I think I'm gonna just do it, <laughs> do it. We're just gonna be the big evil Chungus here and grab it. All right, so 23%. Um, Carino's going to be a problem, for sure. They're going to be a problem. Yeah, crew training and chum support. My whole idea of waiting to buy chum basically just went out the window completely. It's like, yeah, I'm just going to wait. You know, let's just not buy any chum. Let's pull the servers back. We don't want to lose them. And, um, yeah, I just, like, I didn't want Carino to go get it without any challenge. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to, I wanted to kind of give him a little bit of a run there. So we're going to take the middle and um, set up our, our glorious turrets there. And we can get more workers on our harvesters. One of them is currently... Having some issues. Um, Carino poking into our lands. Okay. So we got you guys. Um, typically my late game armies with Harkonnen are like one or two Cerberus and then Mass Gunner and Max Executioners. That's like seems to be like just ideal like army types. Okay. Rebellion's going down. I think I'm pretty safe from assassination considering I have two on counter intel already. I'd love to get Spying Mastery. There's so many techs I need to get to be honest. All right. Let's do this and slap down our super sauce militia in the middle. 
Then we can get a water extractor, which is going to give us a lot. And do we have any regions that have any free space to build? Um, yes, this one. Okay, so we can get the Knowledge Hub building here. So let's do that. And that's going to give us a lot of knowledge. Greeno might be stronger than us in some regards. Let's go counter intel for you. Because of the fact that they, um, they're they going to have 30% chome. I probably should hit them before they get 30%. Because then they get 15% military power and it's just bad news bears. And it's all bad news. All right, so we got authority here. Let's take the free tech. Um, we're about to get that. Did we go down chump support? Yeah, it's it's pretty damn good. Although, man, the military timing is going to be a little bit off. Although, I suppose our knowledge is about to skyrocket. And we can just, after this finishes, we just go all in on military, right? All right, so water extractor is going to give us 25 water. So we shouldn't have issues with water anymore. That's developing. That's developing. We need to kill this imperial base, like hardcore. The middle should be resilient. Our militia are going to have like 1,000 HP, so they should be pretty strong. All right, let's get these sauced out and these sauced out there. Looking good. Exchange rate's 3.8 right now, so we're getting 1.4, dude. That's so jacked. If I get Water Sellers Union or something, that'd be huge. Um, how's my influence? Actually pretty good. Considering we're donating to the guilds, like I, my influence would be way more if I wasn't trying to get those spaceship parts. Because basically I'm paying um, guild influence here. Paying influence to get um, space and guild parts so I can get my mothership. All right, I already caught the Fremen trying to assassinate me. That's pretty funny. Classic. Nanny, you already direct messaging. All faction gained new chome shares. Um, and all factions gained charter priorities increased. Okay, so we just want to get... Do I deny that? No, you know what? I just put my votes down on um, on foreign recruitment and, and call it a day. That's basically going to be it. So yeah, votes are going down right now. We should be popping off here in a second with the votes. We have been paying our taxes. It's I'm notorious for that. I'm notorious for not paying my taxes here in this. All right, so let's just do that. Um, oh, that's all factions? It literally doesn't matter. Okay. Sent them back their spies for a big bribe. That's really funny. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay. There you go. All right, so let's get an airfield down there. Um, and the Landsraad Council is over. So everybody's going to get chome shares, unfortunately, including including these bad boys, and uh, that puts me up to 12%. So I am in the chome game. I'm not out of the chome game. The rates are still really good. Um, as far as main base buildings go, we want to max out our military there. And once the chome support pops off, we get even better exchange rate per 5% of shares. So um, since we have over 10%, it'll give us a, a 0.2 exchange rate, which is good. It's not bad, right? Airfield down there, and knowledge should be popping off as soon as uh, that building finishes. I can't remember where I built it. I think it was over here. Yeah, so the research station is going to give us a lot. And um, yeah, nothing to really do right now. I could go do some raiding. It's, it's better than nothing, I suppose. And it keeps people from expanding towards us. Although that region, kind of tempting to take. Um, rebellions, rebellions, okay. Nothing too wild. Let's just, uh, we can air we can airship down there in a second once that, uh, that, that field finishes. And this, do we want to grab that? Preserve the runes? Yeah, why not? We Plastic Creed's pretty expendable at this point. We have 100, but... We don't need much more like we, we we have enough to build whatever we want as it pops up yeah and once that finishes our knowledge building i wish i got more spice fields man i really do that would have been so nice we haven't lost the harvester yet i don't think nope they're both still the original harvesters that imperial base is gonna x is gonna give it to that imperial base for sure um probably could use scavenger teams on some of these rebellions how are we looking down here fremen are chilling atreides are chilling out no early heavy conflict. Um, let's buy some chome shares. We want to start rivaling Carino in the chome department. And we should be economically a little bit stronger than them. Yeah, now they're 15% cheaper too. Let's buy another set. Yeah, so up to 15%. We're chasing them. They're at 23. So if we can, the more shares you buy, the more expensive it is for everybody else, right? So is this bordering anybody? It is. So let's get a listening post here for influence. Uh, Built a little bit far away, but it's all good. And uh, yeah, now we got 4.1 exchange rate. Oh, that's so good. Let's just full hard sell here, dude. Hard sell. Oh yeah, 1.6. That's pretty pretty jacked. That experimental furnace there is great. Our knowledge is now um, up to 28. So we can do this. And um, we can go ahead and set up a knowledge building there. We can build another knowledge building in the middle. And uh, that's going to give us the sauce for sure. That's going to give us the business. Our political influence is good, too. It kind of has... Oh, look at this. Okay. So let's pop um, scavenger teams down here. So that's going to give us a little bit of dough, I think. Um, what the hell is this? Oh, it's lasting two days, so I can't, like, research. Oh, look at that. So, yeah, I'm getting money from this, right? I assume there would be more of a conflict, but that nah, wasn't bad. Give us a little bit of dough. You can use scavenger teams on conflicts, like, anywhere. So hopefully they'll keep fighting here. It looks like a ceasefire was used by the Atreides to try and stop the Fremen, but um, I care not for what they're up to. The Baron has his own his own schemes. 
and military tech is now on the way. I think there's a rebellion right now. Is there a rebellion up somewhere? Yeah, one of my knowledge regions or one of my bases is. Okay, so that's going down. This is going down here. I would love to see what's going on here. I could use toxic vapors. That would actually be really, really funny. Just like troll. You know, even though I've, I have like several packs with the Fremen trade and research. But the research is really good. I mean, extra two knowledge and it cost me basically nothing. We're ready, ready, Baron. I'm going to come take this. All right, so let's fly down here. Let's shuttle out and grab that. And then we need to we need to start planning. Like once we get siege incentives, so we're going to go like all the way down here and get siege incentives. That's when we attack because we get 100% bonus damage against the bases. Um, although, man, I probably need spine mastery. The fact that I'm limited on my agents kind of sucks. You can see they're like all just jacked up in counter intel. All right, so let's grab that. Um, and for you, let's get a knowledge building. We got to keep expanding. That's going to be some more fuel cells for us. Okay. Looking good. We can take that. It also provides a little bit of water, but we don't need water so much as long as we have the middle. Um, but, you know, can't guarantee that for a long time, right? Man, yeah. Okay. So I think we need to get spying mastery. Being limited to 10 agents is really haggard. It's really haggard. And the game is still early on, right? Okay. Buy more shares. So we're at 15%. Um, the rates are still pretty cheap. So we're going to buy another set. You can see the prices are down right now. So we're going to buy while they're affordable. So we get a couple nice purchases there with the old chome shares main base building we can get the yeah fuel cells no we don't care about that we're doing pretty good on fuel cells i would say all right outstanding slap some heavy militia down there uh get you and probably get a maintenance building here for our last one all right so can we grab that no we're fully done in terms of economics and um okay now we need to start stockpiling again we can't be too greedy because we got to pay our taxes you know it's easy to get greedy what the hell is this um administrative burden who did that who did this to me? Was it the... Somebody gonna attack me? I think that might have been a misclick. Somebody somebody just trolled me pretty good there. Made it so it took me, would take me longer to produce military. I'm expecting a big attack, but we're not seeing anything. So it's, I'm a little bit suspicious for sure. All right, so Spying Mastery is coming. That's gonna give us the maximum amount of agents. Should have gotten that earlier, but it is what it is. We'll fill our agents really quickly because of the brainwash thing, so. Yeah, we're at 39 freaking knowledge right now too. So we are just absolutely beast mode in the knowledge game. Um, no attacks coming. Like we're kind of expanded in a very precarious way. And we're also number one in hedge, which is bad. Um, we don't want that. So there's going to be some politics against me at some point. And let's do scavenger teams down here. Um, do I want to pop that again? Uh, I don't think anybody's going to fight there. It looks like Fremen are just taking territory. Carthag got nailed by the administrative burden. They're very strange. All right. Next building in Carthag is free. Ho, ho, ho. That's pretty great. All right. So let's take the command post and slap that bad boy up. Hell yeah, dude. That was a talk about a very fortuitous timing, huh? So 800 G's. Um, we're rolling pretty hard on that. 25% here from Carino. But if I manage to kill Carino, then we're just going to be the Dark Lords from there, right? Um, let's buy that. Yes, perfect. That is good influence. Landsrad hasn't been up in a while. Let's get a maintenance center down here um, to cheapen these bases. Although I think this one's already getting it. So yeah, we probably don't need to worry about that. So we can just get some water because, you know, we want to have backup water in case the other one gets wrecked. Spying Mastery is taking longer than I would like, but it's still going. I suppose we're still pretty early in the game. You know, we're about, I would say, 30 to 40, 45 minutes away from the game ending. Um, this one, we have no more neighbors in the middle, so we need to delete that building. It's not doing anything for us now. And get a missile turret, for sure. Land Chad's coming, and I actually have good influence. Do I have the most votes here? If something goes up like an office, I can probably win that, which is wild. Um, and we have enough for the big ship now. So we're going to get the Overlord, and now we can stop trading favor to the guild. So we're, we're going to be getting to plus 12 influence now. Um, the politics, you know, money and politics certainly go hand in hand, right? Okay, so we need to stockpile a little bit more. Let's buy some more chum before we go to the lands rad. Oh, man, if we get Water Sellers Union, I think we're going... Are we eligible for it? Oh, yeah, we are, dude. Oh, God. That's so good. Sign me the hell up for that shit. Yes, dude. Just bathe, bathe me in the Water Sellers Union. Okay. So we're gonna do that. That's gonna give us a lot of money because we have the middle. So that's gonna give us like an extra 100 Gs. Nice, dude, nice. Yeah, screw everything else. That's like all that matters. All right, so Harkonnens are gonna get that. Um, we can do this. We got that coming along. Did we win it? Yes, I am the Lord of the Water Cellars. And I think the Fremen, they're probably gonna turn on me soon, I would suspect. There's gonna be some nastiness here um, in the near future for sure. Spying Mastery is a really good investment in the long run. Having all those extra agents gives you a ton of benefits, a ton of perks. Um, so this base is developed. We have 31 knowledge because of the rebellions. Is that a Fremen Rebellion or a regular one? Looks like a regular one. 
I could go hammer down some sieges. That's always a decent idea. But the Overlord's on its way. Now we get more influence here. Let's see what other uh, stuff is on the board here. All right, all right. Free military tech. Yes, please. And uh, Spying Mastery is close to finishing. We certainly need that. We have a resource deficit of what? Fuel cells? Ah, the rebellions, yeah. It, it, it's going to be a perpetual thing. So if you guys are seeing that, it's just, it's just how the Harkonnens are. Everything's on fire. You know, you're basically, it's just anarchy. Let's get another missile turret down here. It's on view. And this base, we got another missile turret there. And um, if the Fremen decide to attack, I mean, we can use the toxic vapors. You can see a bit of a duel of fates going down to the bottom for sure. We're about to get really nice military too. Plus two power on everything. And let's just buy. Yeah, dude. We, we might be able to even pass them. Like our income is so good right now. It's so good and tasty. So good and tasty. You guys remember that video? That's pretty funny. Okay, let's buy this. So we're at 21%. We're, we're battling the emperor for the uh, financial title, the financial heavyweight title of the world. Um, maintenance center, spice silos. Pretty sure we already have a spice silo covering both of our spice fields. So um, can we get a second turret here? Probably military base is good in case any aggression comes. And now we can finish this off. So this gives us 10 water. Um, that's for harvesters, which is useless. Fuel cells and mechanical training time isn't bad. Um, probably save it for the other military. Okay, so spine mastery is about to finish. And then we can get rid of these janky ones here. Is there any battles going on anywhere? I don't think so. Yeah, I was thinking of like any spying mastery stuff. Okay, free text. We see the bad boys gathering. Um, no siege drones though, which is really good. And we're gonna have Overlord. So Overlord will give us good tools with which to fight back. Okay, so we're at 22%. Um, yeah, they're not quite able to keep up with our eco, it doesn't look like. I mean, we're getting literally 1.1, it's nuts. And plus we got another fuel cell, which is awesome. Um, let's get just you for some money. And we can oppress this region too. So we'll have the uh, oppression building going there. All right, so I think our, our harvesters are all geared out. Um, let's buy another set of shares. We're at 23, we've almost passed them in the share game, almost. Share prices have gone up because we just bought a shitload. So obviously they're gonna spike. They're gonna go up and um, yeah. So we have the water sellers and we have charter contender, which is great. I, I suspect that Nanny is probably scheming against me right now. I, I would suspect that there would be schemes. Um, do we have an airfield here? We do not, but we have one up top. So if they go for it, we're just gonna use toxic vapors. And I think our militia can can probably stand and bang. Okay, so let's actually skip adrenaline addiction and go straight to siege incentives. That's gonna give us the tools we need to just pound this Imperial base down. Super, super hard. Um, any fights going on around the map? Not really. Scavenger teams could be used. Um, so decoy thumper is Probably not going to be as useful now. Oops, I actually just minimized my game. Hopefully didn't screw that up for you guys. And let's get the defense breaches so we can just, oh yeah, we need to cancel that real quick um, and use one of our brainwashed agents for that. So it's all the way down here. And um, where is that? Okay, okay, okay. Um, administrative burden. Where the hell is that action? Did I, oh, there it is, okay. So every time you sacrifice an agent, it gives you money and it makes it permanently cheaper. And then I can start getting some good quality agents. And now that we have spy mastery, you know, we're going to be living it up. All right, suppress this region. Um, our manpower isn't that great, but we get it from all of our rebels, right? Um, let's go ahead and buy this. Get that free authority. We're at 261 right now. Our army's looking pretty erect. We need to get the uh, upgrades for them. So we want to get the uh, probably the armor destruction one and the DPS for you guys. And once we, I think we need to get adrenaline addiction. Yeah, so we need to actually get that first because adrenaline addiction gives you the second tech, which is what makes Harkonnen army so terrifying. Yeah, that Sardaukar force doesn't look that good, which is something you probably never hear in the Dune universe. Um, okay, so those regions are developed. We have a little bit left to work with. Could go grab that Plascrete region. Well, that's an earthquake. Um, are they battling over here? Oh, wow. I can't believe nobody's taken the space wreck. This is one of the best ones. It gives you free spaceship parts. It's super, super good. Okay, so we're getting manpower. Um, main base. Now we want to get the uh, military academy. This is a great one. It gives you um, two training slots. So you can replenish your armies really quickly. And for the last slot, um, I don't know. What do we want to do? Landsrad? We could do Landsrad to try and like win some political offices. Um, I don't think anything here. I mean, recycling vats is cute, but we don't care about that. Probably fuel cell. But we don't really make... The Harkonnen mechanical units aren't that good. So I think we just do like Landsrad headquarters or something. All right, so Fremen, man, okay. Okay, that's how it's gonna be. Fremen are gonna be popping off. Um, unfortunately, the Emperor's like really close to me here. Oh uh, God, I need, to, I need to deal with this. Hopefully the Atreides can kind of keep them at bay. Um, we have adrenaline addiction coming. 
I've been really cautious this game. I've just been choming so hard. Um, the shares are really pricey right now, 25%, 22. Currently, um, yeah, we have enough, so let's just hard sell here. We can just stockpile a little bit. There we go. And once those rebellions are dealt with, our economy will come back online in a second. You're going to see it. We have another agent with which we can um, set them up for a... Um, we could just use them currently on Chome. Yeah, that's going to be fine. Our exchange rate being 4.2 is pretty, pretty damn sweet. Um, I could attack... This main base is like ideal, right? So we need to... How far down could I build that? Hmm, I could actually do this. So we're going to do like a little bit of an experiment here. You guys ready? Let's see if we can make this work. So we'll get you like so. And that way the missile turrets can help me in the fights maybe. Yeah. That might be able to hit units a little bit more efficiently for sure. So adrenaline addiction, siege incentives, and then we just go balls to the wall. I would like to get the, um, yeah, Harkonnen playing hedge is possible, but it's certainly not the best way to play them. So we'll go grab this region, take it away from the Fremen. So we're going to shuttle down there with a the big old army and do that. And um, we currently can buy some more Chome shares. If I can get to 30% too, that's going to be really big. Yeah, I want to take this so the Fremen can't grab it. Okay. So all factions gain Chome buying price. Ooh, that's not good. Definitely decline that if I can. Uh, Eye of the Council? Is Atreides eligible for Eye of the Council? They are. So Atreides should win that. And I will vote to deny sale intensive and try and get that down that and get rid of this uh, nothing else really matters here uh, all right so let's decline that with everything we got all right because i want to buy my chome so we're going to deny the hell out of that we're going to grab this territory because i think the fremen are pretty busy dealing with um or battling over here do they have craft workshops we need to see um no no just a recycling plant okay but the council is over hopefully the chome prices um yep Trades won the council. The Fremen, that's good that they want it too. It's going to keep the Fremen, um, you know, kind of more focused on them, right? Adrenaline addiction is going to be going soon. Uh, as far as this goes, liberate Marcus. Okay, I don't know where the hell that is or who Marcus is. The other one is, yeah, relations with the siege. Oh, we're, we're getting a little bit. Okay, cool. All right, excellent. So we're going to take this region, get a little bit of intel while we're at it. And we can just do some scavenger teams, I guess, here. We're just going to take what we can to keep up with them. Um, the special region here too, we should go pillage that. Maybe just taking that is actually smarter, but then that puts me in the first place. Uh, no attacks yet. We don't know what we're doing here. Lands right after the council being open. Yeah, I don't know what building is best. I think I think just going for like the max influence so we can like bank, but I feel like trying to keep up with the tradies politically is going to be stupid. All right. We're here for you. Okay, so let's grab this, get you guys, get some missile turrets up in here, and uh, now we move in. Okay, so that's going to keep us close to the Fremen, and then we, what we do is we take down the Imperial base. Yeah, so adrenaline, adrenaline addiction is about to kick in, and we're going to start fighting now. Um, oh, the Fremen being like riding that close to victory though is scary. I mean, it's still a ways off, I suppose. We do have 11 agents. We are fully maxed out on counterintelligence. So the Baron, the suspicious Baron is feeling safe. And we can get, um, what other tech do we have? We still have a lot of troopers, so we might as well get upgrades for them. So let's just get them the health upgrades so they can tank a little bit. Um, and yeah, all right. So rebellion going down there. We farmed that, looking good. Um, Carino's for sure gonna be expecting a betrayal of some sort. Like if I were Carino, I would, you know, I would absolutely expect some funny business, okay. We have the administrative burden. I could do both, actually, um, but that's going to be kind of hard to pull off. I have I have most of the goodies. Okay, for you, let's just slap you on Arrakis for now. Um, this is going to be sauced out. We have 10k. We could buy. Um, currently, they're at 28%, so hitting now would probably be good. Let's buy some shares. We're at 25, they're at 28. And our military, yeah, we got the uh, siege adrenaline addiction. Okay, so what we do now is we get the Gatling gun, and we can just go hard DPS on these guys. So they have like tons of deeps. Um, they're going to be able to fly up and over. That army doesn't look very good. So I'm going to go get the Overlord in position. And then we're going to go start the attack. Siege incentive will take too long. I can't afford to sit around and wait. You know, it, it can't It can't happen. All right. So are those Fremen Rebellions? No, they're regular ones. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, regular Rebellions. We have the middle. Um, Fremen are chilling out. I don't know how the politics of all this are going to go, but Siege Intensives is great, but we still have the um, Defense Breaches, which is going to give us a ton of deeps here. 
And uh, let's slap out some more of you guys and you guys. Yes. And then we begin the great attack. Okay. Let's buy. We're at 26. They're at 28. Uh, I don't think anybody else is really playing Chome. Our militia should be able to take this with the turrets. That's going to give us some free spaceship parts, which is cute. And um, Overlord is chilling. It's a, definitely a bit of a red flag there for my opponent. Uh, we're going to need some influence to break this non-aggression pact with them. They have 8.2k. They're pretty rich. I don't want them to get that 30% before we fight. So let's go ahead and um, party. Yeah, let's go ahead and party here. So we're going to break this. Now is the time to strike. Costs 100 influence to break, break that. And we're going to shuttle. And what's really funny is we can literally shuttle like right on top of their base here. So we're going to do that. And they're going to... We're not going to kill it. But we're going to do some respectable damage. Probably like 25% damage before he arrives. Um, which is huge. And if he loses it, it's going to set him back pretty massively, right? So the dreaded Harkonnen ambush is here. So let's attack it now. Let's go and move in. And we can go ahead and pop the defense breaches. And we need to move all of you guys onto the territory here. And do this. And do the combat drugs. All right. So he's going to be arriving soon. Administrative breach is used on us, but doesn't really do anything to us right now. You can see we're pounding the main base down pretty quickly. Um, we do have some enemy agents, so let's go ahead and throw those on the spacing guilds here. And um, we can pop scavenger teams if need be, but yeah, you can see Harkonnens are really good at killing main bases. If we had had siege incentives, this would be like near death right now. Okay, so is there a counterattack coming? It looks like they're running up. But yeah, I think they were out of position. Oh, they weren't near any airfields. That's rough. Okay, so we're going to just plow this main base down, and that's going to be a huge one, a uh, huge win for us here. Okay, so yeah, the Imperial base is going to fall. That's going to screw them up pretty badly. Let's go ahead and shuttle some more of you guys. And are they going to counterattack me? That would be interesting. But yeah, this is uh, about as good as it gets. Let's buy some shares. Try and keep them from 30%. Yeah, they're trying to buy to 30%. But, um, you know, we, we are going to get the main base and pull back before they even get here. Huge. Because the DPS from the machine gunners is crazy. Okay. Come on. Finish it. Finish it. And the worm call has been used. It's fine. And we're out of here, baby. Yeah. Give me that shit. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we're peacing now. If they want to come attack us, they're going to run into their own their own worm sign here. Which is going to be pretty funny. That's that's really big. That's a huge, huge setback. Like, huge setback for them. They just lost, like, a bunch of main base buildings. Um, down here, how are we looking? Let's get an airfield so we can fly. Village traits, manpower, if we have one of each type. So now we just keep pushing the Emperor and taking his territory. Um, siege incentives. Where's the other main base? It's right here? Okay, so if we take this, this area here... Then we're going to be cackling pretty hard. A strategic, move. A strategic move. You're right, dude. Look at that. They know how to. They know how to say what's up. All right. So let's grab you, and um, we can go and get the um, the administrative burden is probably a good one to have for any heavy fighting. We get another stolen agent, which is always fun. And um, let's go down here to the defense breaches, and we can get defense breaches again. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. All right. So that's going to hurt. Like their economy is going to take a big hit here. Let's throw you in the chome. Oh, Arrakis, maybe? Yeah, throw you in Arrakis. Why not? Okay, so we're maxed out. Yeah, we have defense breaches and we have administrative burden. So we're ready for round two. Um, I'm going to go hit that southern village, that fuel cells, and try and shut them down. Man, yeah, the, the Fremen, though, are kind of making me a little bit nervous. But if I can kill Carino, dude, I become the lord of chome because then I corner the market completely. Atreides might start attacking them, too. And keeping them like at bay at least. Um, fuel cells, lands route after each standing, um, knowledge, hegemony gains. Yeah, I, I guess we just hang. Okay, so diplomatic congress is for sure going to be Carino's attempt here. So I'm going to vote the Fremen with this. Are they already my ally? Oh, the Fremen actually. Yeah, they have non-aggression. I'm going to vote. I'm going to vote for um, Duke Leto, which is going to be hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Judge of the Council is okay. I mean, could I win that actually? Uh, no, I couldn't. Wait, yes, I. Yes, no, Atreides are going to win that. All right, so we're going to do Diplomatic Congress on the Atreides. Um, perfect, because if Carino wins that, then they're going to um, they're gonna be safe for me for a while. Like, it'll buy them time. Okay, so we see rebellions up here. What kind of rebellion is that? That is a Fremen Descent Rebellion, which is the most annoying kind. So let's shuttle you guys over there. Go deal with that. And do we have any more rebellions around? It doesn't look like it. So that will be dealt with in a second. And then we just go for this region down here. It's going to be a little bit messy. We don't have combat drugs. So I think we need that um, for the fighting. It's going to be more important than the alternatives. Um, we also have this one here. So let's grab a couple executioners and have you guys shuttle down there. And should be an airfield range in a second. And boom. All right. So the troops should be able to deal with that. We'll take down those regions and uh, get those all squared away. 
Let's buy and try and get 30% ourselves. We're at 28%, so my opponent does have the military strength advantage um, in terms of that tech. I still think my army's stronger than theirs from what I saw. Since they lost the main base too, they, they've lost all those buildings. That's pros and cons to having a second base, right? Pros and cons, all right. Yeah, and this is, we're just waiting for this. Okay, so Fremeter jumping up. The special region, I think we gotta grab it at some point or at least pillage it. Um, those rebels should go. And then we just go and steamroll through and we can just start grabbing like all this. And when Siege Incentives is ready, that's, so we do that and then we go Symbols of Authority to get the, um, the special region bonuses. Fremen might come for this here. I, I can see them attacking us at this point, but I think they're more than happy to just battle the um, Atreides, right? Okay, so one special region has been taken and we do have another agent. All right, so it's just a, another haggard brainwashed agent. So we'll just kind of slap the base on there, throw them in wherever. And let's go down here and we got that, which is good. We can build a military base in case it gets real crazy. And you guys can shuttle back in a second and head to the north. So yeah, we need to head over here. Anything to please you, Baron. All right, let's fly down here, and you guys fly over here. And then we begin the next wave of attacks. I don't know how it's going to go. Um, I could get backstabbed by Fremen. That totally is on the table. That would actually be their best play, in my opinion. And the fact that they're gathering... Holy shit, his siege is right there? Oh, that's not good. Man, I could totally go and just take out the Fremen real quick. If I can win against them. Hold up. Hold up. If I can defeat the Fremen army on their doorstep... That would be brutal. Um, yeah, and it looks like the military base... Uh, we need a military base in this region, so we can go ahead and get rid of this and get you. I think the Emperor's going to be licking his wounds for a minute. How's he looking on Hedge? Um, not very good at 16. Okay, so yeah. I mean, losing an Imperial base there is rough, but eliminating the Fremen is definitely uh, very tempting. Like, just one big Alpha Strike on their main base. And if we can, like, defeat their army... I mean, that's a lot of Fidakin and Warriors. I don't know how, like, teched up they are. I guess that option is always on the table, though. You know? It's always there. Yeah, Siege Incentives is on the way. And we can go and grab this Fuel Cell region, too. Let's move through the mountains. We have a Supply Drop, worst case scenario. Okay. Nothing in the main base. Uh, shares are cheap now, so we're going to buy some. And uh, let's wait so we can buy one more time. Because that's going to give us the 30%. Just going for a main base snipe would be really, really nasty. But the Fremen are gathering. It's going to take them some time. We can also use Toxic Vapors and just troll them while they try and do it, right? All right, so we're heading out. We're going to battle the Imperials now. Um, one of their bases is currently under Rebellion, so this is a really good time for us to attack. And do we have enough to buy uh, to get the 30%? We do not. Okay, he's at 31 too, so yeah. They're both very viable options for sure. Okay, so we're gathering. A Worm Call would be really nasty against us right now, but that army does not look very good. And if they lose this fight against us, they're going to just probably get steamrolled. Okay. The game lags a little bit ever since the patch. It's a bit of an optimization thing, I guess. I don't know. But we're going to... Oh, my God. This is going to be a massacre. Holy shit. Yeah. So let's cap take this. Prime Minister, are they backstabbing? They're not, which is huge. Oh, my God. That was a massacre. All right. Let's just go to the main base and use administrative burden on them. And they're just dead. Yeah. Okay. Well, that went way smoother than expected. So we're going to hit this main base. We're going to do that. And that's going to give me the uh, Chome Market. So let's get scavenger teams. And um, yeah, I don't know what else we need. Probably just supply drop here. So Siege Incentives is going down. We can buy some shares. That's going to put us to 30%. Hell yeah, baby. Let's go. Fremen seem to be having a bit of a quarrel with the old Atreides. That seems to be their, their, biggest, uh, their biggest foe. Okay. So the main base is going to get canned. If I had combat drugs, it'd be even more. Yeah, the 30% power is pretty savage on that. Okay, so did we ever get the dual wielding weapons on these guys? We did, okay. That is going to be the end of the Emperor here. The dreaded Baron Chungus can now start like gobbling up all this territory here and trying to race the Fremen, or we could go for the kill on them too. It's totally an option. Okay, let's do that. Make more of you guys. And uh, GG. GG, well played. All right, that's going to be it for them. Boom! There we go. All right. Oh, give us that market. Yes. Okay, this region. Unfortunately, we can't start capturing that stuff. And um, now we're going to head back. And now we're going to go go after the Fremen, I think. We're just going to go straight military might here. 30%. Um, the rate, I think the shares should go down, right? The prices should start tanking the longer I wait. Not actually sure. All right, unassigned agents. Um, let's just get you guys on Spacing Guild for now. And um, yes. Yeah, you can see the Fremen gathering, but they have to be very careful. 
they have to be very, very careful. All right, let's actually cut this. And we want to get the uh, administrative burden is very good. So we want to get that. Yes. And then we can cut the, we have defense breaches already. Great. Yeah, the machine gunners are what do the huge damage. These gunner guys. Oh, man. And Siege Tabor is right there, dude. Oh, God. We're going to butter that bread if, if they leave it. Yeah, the Fremen are the biggest threat right now. It seems like the Atreides are kind of chilling out. Prices are pretty respectable, so we'll, we'll buy to stay above 30%. We have the 30% military power. Let's fly our Overlord down there. And, uh, yeah, it's time. The best way to fight, fight Fremen is to not fight them in the sands. Like, if you can not, if they don't get their worm dive, that gives them 50% military strength, you usually will wreck them. Okay, Landsrad starting soon. Um, main base, we don't care about Landsrad standing. Fuel cells, we have plenty. Um, the water is cute and all. I guess we might as well just get this for now. Let's get a little bit of extra water. We have Water Sellers Union, so it, it will equate to some sort of financial boon. All right, yeah, so we got everything we need to just snipe this base. Hardcore. Um, Dune Governorship. Oh, shit. Oh, wait. Are the Fremen going to go Gov? Oh, my goodness. Who's eligible? Oh. Oh, Fremen Gov. Damn. I did not think of that. Okay. So we're going to oppose that. But what's the point? Actually, you know what? Let's just vote the Fremen on the exchange rate. And uh, yeah, we're going to do that. Because we can't. We don't have enough to stop them. They have 800 plus right now. They have... 800 votes. So we're going to vote them on the spice exchange rate. And um, from the top rope, he says. Yeah, I love it. Okay, well, we'll see if the Baron can fly from the top rope and uh, take him out too. We need to save a little bit of influence to break that pact. And now we uh, we do our thing. All right. Say, so, let's go, Atreides. All right. So the Fremen governor from down from downtown... Yeah, we're coming for blood, though. The Baron is, is going to be flying flying all over the place here in a minute. We have a lot of authority. Um, special regions, we need to grab two. So we will go ahead and hit the base here in a second and see how this goes. Together now. He said, hey, let's talk about this. That's really funny. Okay. Okay, we can almost break this, right? How much do we have right now? We have 32. Okay. So you just uh, take care of that, and we'll get our army. How much is it going to be to shuttle down here? It's not too expensive. All right, so let's hustle over, and um, yeah, get ready to go, man. This is it. It's for all the marbles. We we, we might lose the first fight. Um, granted, what is their army? Is it, is it Fidakin? Yeah, it looks like it's Fidakin mostly. And we have the 50 influence here in a second, so we'll be able to break that pact. Um, more Chome shares are on the table, so we're just going to keep buying Chome. And the Atreides are going to help. hopefully come help me. I don't know if I can take the Fremen on one-on-one. -on -one. That will be a uh, certainly a tall order. Let's build a military factory to get the military strength, although we already have so much and that's gonna make us so poor. So let's actually just say screw that. All right, so what they should do right now is a worm call on us and we are gonna head over and just, you know, bash our head against uh, this right now. Okay, so that's okay. As long as we get out of this valley here, we just go up and through here and should be able to avoid it. Let's get this. We can set up this base here. We have a long time. Nobody got eaten, which is great. So we just baited out the worm call. And um, now we just start fighting up here on this little high ground. It is within the, the base range, which is going to be nasty. But we want to draw the militia out and kill them. All right, so let's draw the militia and kill those guys real quick. Perfect. And uh, I suspect there's going to be an attack coming here soon. So we can take this base. All right, so let's start to take that. And now we can head down uh, the mountain range. Let's have you hold ground and start working on the main base. All right, so let's go ahead and do the uh, siege incentives, defense breaches. If they're going to let me bash on their main base, I will happily take that free damage. All right, so we're going to start shooting that. Cool. And let's just start going after these guys. Okay. So one and one. Yes, yes. Perfect. Let's do scavenger teams and combat drugs and defense uh, defensive burden here too. Yeah, so they're going to struggle to rebuild these units for sure. Okay, machine guns, nail them down. Mercenaries, nice. Mercs are coming out. We did some good damage to the base, though. That was good. All right, so for us, we need to go ahead and get some executioners coming back. And, yeah, that's a lot of Fidekin, boys. That is a whole lot of Fidekin. So I can't just snipe the main base. Yeah, mass mercs are being brought out by the Fremen. We have, what, 21 days left? We might have a chance to vote them down, too, in the uh, political congress. Okay, they have no anti-air here, actually, so we can just shoot. Okay, a lot of boys coming. Uh, Trades are, they're doing their thing. They're doing good. And our mothership is getting gatted. Holy shit. Oh my god, that is a lot. 
Okay, so Toxic Vapor's here, so let's pop that. And then we need to get Defense Breaches again. So our Mothership just got absolutely wrecked by those Fremen. And um, let's see, so we want to get you. We want to get Combat Drugs and Sleeper Agents. And um, yeah, Scavenger Teams is probably good. Yeah, it wasn't bad. We did a little bit of work there. We're going to have a big army flying down in a second. Our Militia did get killed, though, but I think the Toxic Gas will deal with them. And if it's a, a Merc-only army... Yeah, we'll, we'll have to vote them down in the next lands right here. Oh, I have not been paying my spice taxes. It's my signature special move, by the way, to not pay my spice. Um, but we'll pay the next one, and it should be fine. Yeah, I mean, Chome, we're not going to win on Chome. It's not going to happen, so we, we're just going to roll with that. Okay, let's do that. Let's get you guys. We can land you here and clear this out and um, continue the attack. Keep going. Uh, keep going, Atreides. Yeah, I love it. You guys probably pulling your hair out like, ah, watch it. All right, so we're landing. We're going to butcher those guys and then pull back. Okay, so let's get the kill on that that dude, and then we can just retreat away. So they're going to lose capture progress, and we can just cackle and run. All right. So if we can win, like, one decisive fight, then we can kill them, right? Atreides are capturing territory. Um, Landsrad will be up soon, so let's get all of you guys. Yes, good. And uh, do we have the airfield here? We do not. We'll just get a maintenance center. Whatever. It's cool. We have a whole batch of troopers coming out. We're going to just keep bashing our head against them here. If I can get sneaky, sneaky angles on Siege Tabor, too, I can I can just keep trying to snipe the base. If I was Carino, I'd have the Siege Drones of Doom, but we'll pay our spice taxes back for sure. All right, so they're moving in to take that base, which is fine because we can fly in. So let's get you guys and do this. Um, all right, and then we can get you guys to fly over here and do this. Look, we're, we're switching spots. Oh, that's so funny. They came to attack me and we we switched. That's so funny. I haven't seen that happen before. Wow. All right. So they just came over there. Oh, man, but their army's a little bit out of position right now. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Did you did you just make a little bit of a, a folly, perhaps? Maybe so. And now their army's going to take a ton of damage here. We're just going to waddle over to the main base, and our turrets are actually doing some considerable work. All right. So let's do this and do combat drugs, and we can do the defense breaches. All right, so we're hitting the main base. And yeah, I'm happy to sack this army here to get this going. Oh, yeah, baby, let's go. Okay, so executioners, you execute things. Yeah, we're going to lose this army, but it's worth every penny we're getting. Like, every penny. All right. So here they come. Let's see if we can save some of these guys. A couple executioners going to keep bashing on it. And uh, now we need to just mass out more executioners, yes. The nuclear option, uh, it would take too long. It would take too long. All right, so let's get that, and um, combat drugs. Listening. Harkonnen's just cackling in the dark. Let's get the militia. Oh, man, we're actually... What the hell is this? We don't have manpower. Shit. We're gonna have to make mercs and stuff, dude. This is, uh, this is a first. Running into man problems, manpower problems with the Harkonnen's here. Okay, so let's fly down there, and we're gonna continue making uh, mercenary units, basically, because that's what we can afford now. Um, okay. Okay, trades. We have to vote him off gov. We have to do it, or else we're going to pay the troll toll. Okay. So, vote loss of rights with me. Support. And we can take him off. Holy shit. Yeah, we got the main base. Um, so, let's go ahead and support loss of rights. If the, As long as the Atreides guy knows how to do this, then we'll, we'll do it. Okay, so all factions suffer loss of rights. Confirm. I'm losing two spots for this, you know. Support, yeah. All right, outstanding. I, I wonder if that, wait. Yeah, okay, good, we got it. Oh, crisis averted. All right, so now we're just kind of chilling out. We can we can do that. And we got the Fremen base very low. So I want to shuttle down and kill the Fremen army or at least try to. Um, yeah, the army's like kind of beat up here. We could probably actually stop them there. We just need a couple dudes to pop out, some executioners. And then we can have other guys go start grabbing special regions to win on hedge. Okay. Okay, let's pop down there. Um, we can go ahead and sacrifice an agent if we want to for scavenger teams. Which is going to give us a ton of dough from the killing. And um, here we go. All right. So we pop that. And combat drugs. And we steamroll this army. Drive them back to the pits. Yes, chase them down. Yes, yes. Oh my god, so many brainwashed agents. Do we want to fight this for real? Maybe, actually, not a bad idea. Yeah, we're, we're doing some work here. All right, let's get some of these. 
And um, we keep bashing at him. Have you chase the range unit down, and you chase the range unit. Those are actually, I think, melee units. I'm not sure. We're about to kill a very leveled up Fidakin there. And the Fremen should be hurting pretty bad now. Their main base is in trouble. Um, we can do administrative burden, which is going to hurt. I don't know if we can actually like kill them or anything, but let's go ahead and get you guys and do um, some executioners in the base. Whoa, what's going on with the pathing? Holy shit. Okay. Yeah, not too many units left. Not too many units left. I mean, defense breaches here probably isn't worth, but we'll just kind of keep bashing on the main base for as long as we can here. And, um, yeah, we did manage to stop them, which is pretty fortunate. Okay, we're going to need to start getting some damn manpower buildings, dude. Yeah, because we're just like greedy, greedy McGreed over here. All right, so uh, we have plenty of water, so let's do that. Start switching out manpower buildings. Kremen are coming, so let's just retreat. And uh, we need manpower. We need to start grabbing territories, too. Um, how are the rebellions looking? That is... Oh, we actually have actual Fremen rebellions nearby. Okay. So we're going to peace out at this point. Um, get some more heavy militia in here if we can. Turn. Uh, yeah, it's going to be hard to actually stop the Fremen here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we got demo teams, but we need some heavies. And our manpower just sucks. So righteous. It's so bad. Okay, can we get manpower here? Let's take down water. We need to switch into manpower buildings. Didn't think I'd run into that problem, but I guess I've been pretty greedy about it. You know, we had a surplus, and that was pretty much it, so. All right. So we can just fly guys over there. Let's go start grabbing special regions that are away from other players, like hunting down all this territory here. Should have done that a while ago, but, you know, it is what it is. So do we have toxic vapors? We could get toxic vapors, which would make it a little bit harder to decap that from us. So let's get toxic vapors. I don't think killing the Fremen is going to be as necessary now. And you guys can shuttle up here, reestablish that territory. And do we have the craft workshops? Not yet. Okay, soon. Soon we'll have them. Yeah, Trades are expanding. They're taking ground in the south, but Fremen have certainly got me beat on the uh, hedge game at the moment. Let's get a couple more executioners. Get a Cerberus, because why the hell not? We just need things. And um, yeah, we got the manpower buildings coming all over the place. Yes, yes. And uh, all these regions are well developed. Should be able to get this in a second. There we go. Come on, get those guys down. Yeah, I want to save that region if I can. I, I definitely want to. All right, shuttle should be online soon. So we're going to shuttle down here and pop this guy in the face and just try and get that base back real quick. Combat drugs and good, so we're going to get this. If I was the Atreides, I could speed build it, which would be super turbo powerful. Okay, so I think we get this base back. Or stop them from decapping that. We ride in during the storm under the cover of the storm. And we kill this uh, Fidakin who's, who's guarding it right now. And then that's going to probably decap them a little bit here. Hopefully it will. Come on. Come on. Run off the objective. There you go. All right. Now they're going to lose a bunch of progress. And uh, we can take this guy down. Oh, no. They're going to... They're coming back. All right. So it's Toxic Vapors of shit. And then run away. Yeah, they lost progress. So that's going to give us time. Uh, let's get a manpower building because we need it. And um, yes, we have the Fremen Rebellions, which have been hurting. Did we not pay our taxes last time? Shit. I guess we didn't. Could have sworn. I'm stockpiling a bit now. Like, I'm actually in the negative at the moment. All right, let's get some influence. And, um, yeah, more executioners. We should be able to fly down there and liberate that in a minute. I don't know. It's going to be hard. We're very close. Um, the craft workshop should be popping off soon. Yeah, can't even afford to get anybody here. This is uh, just upkeep production. All right, so let's hire some mercs, because why the hell not? Let's get an army, go down there, and try and salvage that base if we can. Ooh. Ooh, okay. You know what? Let's see if we can get down there real quick. Yeah, we're going to try and fly down there and see if maybe we can keep that region. I don't think it's going to happen, though. I think, unfortunately, it's going to get salvaged or taken down before I can arrive there. That sucks. Okay, so manpower buildings are going off. And, yeah, they do get it from us. Well played. Okay, I'm out of here. Just a prank. Just a prank. I'm leaving. I promise. I'm out of here, dude. I've had enough. Oh, I accidentally made all demo militia here? Shit, that's going to be a really crappy village now. Okay, let's get you. Okay, so we need to just go grabbing, like, all the regions back here. The Atreides actually creeping up on Hedge, too. Um, do we have the craft workshop? We don't have the symbols of authority yet. So we can start pillaging sieges, too, to get the uh, resources. Should be very strong. Okay, so Fremen might dive over there. What are we at? 22k right now? Even, even with that special region, it didn't give us as much as I would have thought. Um, all right, so we can go ahead and get the uh, maintenance reduction here. Just save a little bit of money. We're going to try and pay our taxes here. Pretty sure our spice harvesters have been safe mode the entire game. And um, 
Yes, let's waddle this way. The Fremen are guarding their main base. They kind of have to, you know, because if they if they leave, I'm going to go snipe their main base. So, yeah, they don't want any piece of that. All right, so we're going to keep just expanding this direction. Um, craft workshops will give us a nice little boost. Toxic vapors, and we do have defense breaches, so we can go for that. I mean, if he leaves, if he comes down here, we'll definitely toxic vapors him. Okay, so he's coming here. Oh, God. If the governorship or something wild comes up, that's going to be hard. Um, spice field here, actually, so we can get that. Okay, it's getting very close. Um, toxic Vapors, we did not sack an agent. Okay, so we need to we need to win this fight. So let's cancel this, and we can get that. Perfect timing. It gives me time to just prepare everything right now. Okay, so let's go Toxic Vapors. Yes, boom. All right, so the Speaker of the Council. Uh-oh. Oh, man. They have, go they have Governor Threat now, too. I love it, man. Oh, the spice, the spice is cooking. Let's make a couple more mercs. And how are we looking here on the chome? We're still at 31% on chome, so we're pretty well ahead of most people. Um, we should get our spice tax paid this time around, I promise. The Baron got a little bit greedy, but, you know, he's learned his lesson, so. Don't need this listening post anymore. My attention is needed. Um, gear regulations on the Fremen. That's going to go on me. Um, all right. So I'm going to try and get that on the Fremen. Fremen gear reg. Too strong. Do it. Let's see if it, let's see if the Atreides guy does it. Oh yes, we got the Fremen military power lowered. Yes. Let's go ahead and slap some toxic vapors. He is number one on hedge, to be fair. So he's kind of like deserves it at this point, you know. Okay, we can probably beat that Fremen army actually pretty well. They're gonna take a lot of damage from those toxic vapors, and then we just fly down like a wrecking ball. We're gonna Miley Cyrus some here. Here we go. Okay, so everybody's nearby, and let's do this. And then, you know, oh, wait, actually, hold up. Can we get the defense breaches after that, too? Administrative burden, um, administrative burden, yes. And we don't quite have enough. We need a little bit more intel, and then we'll pop that. Okay, so they're gonna just get the dirty right now, like, super hard. That Harkonnen army is pissed, dude. All right, so they're gonna just steamroll them. Let's do scavenger teams to make some money. And uh, outstanding, so that gets steamrolled here. He says, oh, damn it. All right, so let's take down the big ship. And then what we can do is we can do the administrative burden, which I wish the UI was a little bit easier to navigate there. And we can um, make it so it's harder to replace the troops. So we're going to go heal over here. Get all of you guys there. Um, they're not going to be able to make good units. And we can maybe go for the kill here. Maybe can. All right, so you guys, uh, let's move over here and just grab that. We're healing up before I move in. Toxic Vapors is worn off. All right, that's good enough. That's as good as it's going to get. We're going to their base to try and bully them. Um, we could take this region back. No, oh, they actually have a lot. They have a fair amount of stuff. We do have defense breaches though. So if they try and get gamey with us, we can um, we can definitely sit back. All right, so we need to get an airfield here. Oh, hello. Hello. Sweet Christmas. All right, let's go this way. Yeah, I've noticed it lags a little bit more since the patch. I do like the changes a lot though, aside from that. I feel like they're very good. Oh no. Hey, scavenger team's coming into the clutch. All right, we're not gonna try and kill him here um he's he's too prepared we have to catch him in a bad position again if the if this wasn't such a long miserable desert maybe we could have gotten him but yeah that's not going to be the case all right so the homies are grabbing regions um we can now get our passive hedge so can we get it yet oh man it's not done yet jesus it's like looking like it was going to be done 10 years ago do we have an airfield up here we do okay so we can airfield he can worm around obviously but yeah he can worm it I like to worm it, worm it. All right, where do we want to go? Scavenger teams, yes. Peter is such a useful agent. The fact that, is he going to go for like a main base snipe or something? That would be very, very wild. Okay, so almost almost have these symbols of authority, which we can um, get some more authority by pillaging sieges. Um, another special region here. So we're going to waddle over here and try and do something with that. Um, he could go for this again, but it's going to take some time. Come on, symbols of authority, finish. For the love of the gods. All right. Do we go nukes? Have we paid our taxes? Are we going to pay our taxes this time around? Hopefully. We have 25k. Um, I could start creeping up on Chome again. Fremen. Who is, is that, that just the Fremen over there? Okay, let's give me the tooltip for the Fremen. Okay, so we're going to head down here. Unfortunately, those mercenary units don't actually heal. So they are not doing anything for us. So let's get some militia here to be safe. Get uh, fuel cells because it's always useful. And now we can get a bunch of authority by um, pillaging the siege. But first, we'll do the renegade base. We'll take that down real quick. <clears throat> okay, they're gathering up on me. Clearly up to no good. We need to get Toxic Vapors at the ready to soften them up for the funny business. 
Let's get that. And do we have enough? Yes, we do. It's just lagging. Okay. So toxic vapors. It's everyone's favorite. Let's pop that. Nuke those guys. Uh, I don't know if the worm actually matters here, the worm call. Yeah, we get it. That forces his army back, see? Because, yeah, it, 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 you don't want a repeat of what just happened, right? Okay, so Fremen are closing in, but we, we, the Chungus Baron, are chasing pretty closely behind. All right, so, yes, we finally finished that. So now we need to get our passive hedge buildings, which is not easy for the Baron to get. Okay, so we got that. Um, let's go ahead and cut the listening post here. Screw it. And we can go ahead and get this. We have this discovered for more intel, which is outstanding. And now let's um, do the savage uh, cleansing of the siege. So when we kill the siege, it gives us 100 authority, which is great. Um, let's go ahead and get the assembly line stuff to get it, you know, a cheaper ship potentially. Okay. Let's keep it up. Looking good. We're bashing them down. Um, fuel cells coming online here. And we got that region. We got that region going. And we have this one back here too. So let's get the military base, which should have deleted a long time ago. But, you know, there's a lot of inefficiencies here. And get that passive hedge going. All right. So we're going to take that. That's going to give us authority, which we need to grab this. And then we can reinforce that. Fremen looking like they want to party again. So do we have any toxic vapors? Do we have any expendable agents? We do, but I want to keep some on Chome. So let's just do that the old-fashioned way and grab that. Atreides creeping up too. They're, they're expanding in the base of the fallen Carino, which has been good. Um, so we got 100 authority for that. So we can start grabbing all these regions and you know trying to pass these guys. All right, so fuel cells. Let's go ahead and get some uh, just random money buildings. Why not? Anything can help here. And oh, that's that's pretty cheeky. I'm kind of out of position for that. So we need to run up here and uh, do this. We have a lot of time though. We have a lot of time to work with. So I believe they'll probably destroy the airfield. Um, scavenger teams, we can pop here to get some money for all that, all those shenanigans. Let's go ahead and do this. And yeah, we're still capping that, good. All right, excellent, excellent. And let's get some mercs while we're at it. Screw it. All right, head up here. Yes, good job. Let's get you guys, do this. Get the hedge going. Yeah, if he's if he's playing on point, he's gonna destroy the um, destroy the airfield. Okay. Thankfully, you know, in the heat of the moment, he didn't realize to do that. This field is almost impossible. To, okay, he did destroy it. Good. Well played. I was gonna say that that's a huge win for me if he doesn't destroy that. We're gonna march up there and, and just take that. Um, because now we're up on hedge. We're looking pretty good. We could get attacked by the Atreides at any point. Um, military factory. Yeah, let's just go all in on like strong military here. Yeah, I think it's worth it here. Um, Chome, do we want to like keep buying Chome as an alternative here? Fremen are closing in, and if they get this region from me, we're going to be feeling pretty bad. But I'm pretty sure we can drive them off here. We could even use Toxic Vapors and butter them up, but yeah, my army's going to come in and hopefully steamroll this. Um, we got Rebellions coming around, normal Rebellions, and they're going to run. Maybe they're going to shy Halud in, I'm not sure. I, I would love a big fight here, that'd be really fun. Okay, so yeah, it looks like it's going to be a big fight, shit, okay. The battle for Arrakis is on. All right, so our boys are shooting. Let's pull back our gunners. Yeah, we do get some nice damage. Oh my God, the interruption. Oh boy. Atreides, maybe Gov. Oh man, this is scary. It wouldn't it be cool if the Atreides guy just pulled, came out with the steel chair. All right, so who do I have more votes then? The Fremen have more votes, but we are eligible for Water Sellers Union. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna guarantee we keep that or get that. And this fight looks like it's going okay. Those are mostly range units. So we can, like, take this time to do some orders. Yeah, that's actually kind of helpful, having the, the cheating pause. It's pretty funny. And we can uh, we can do scavenger teams, too. Okay. He says no on the governor. All right, so our range units are going. We've hopefully taken down the Fidekin here. All right, outstanding. We're moving in on these guys. We do have the Toxic Vapors. Um, and we chase them through the desert. Thanks, minor houses. Did the minor houses do something funny? Looks like they might have. Okay. So we'll happily chase them into the desert. I mean, you know, we're, we're going to just have to run for their village here. So we're going to just keep waddling, keep waddling, just attack you. And uh, we just need to get our militia back up. All right, so militia. And um, if I had border defenses, that'd be pretty nice. How are we looking here? We're actually still killing a lot of their stuff here. Shai Halud's popping up and, you know, eating uh, Fremen and uh, Harkonnen alike, it looks like. Okay, let's take this and take down the militia. And um, Atreides might steal Chair of Victory out of us, honestly. They might. I do have a lot of authority, so I think I can go grab some stuff here. 
So we should probably set up airfields this way. Let's see what bases we can grab. Yeah, that one's available. We'll grab that. And uh, let's just pillage this for money now. And uh, yeah, we're going to need to go switch on to the Atreides now. I think the Fremen have kind of fallen behind a little bit, but they could definitely jump up. So we're going to do a couple little raids. Yeah, Atreides are grabbing a lot of territory. We need to, we need to be cognizant of that. Because they could also have Passive Hedge. Does he have Passive Hedge? He doesn't. Okay, that's one advantage I have is I have the Passive Hegemony. So we're going to pillage this village. Um, enemy units coming up this way. Okay, so those are just the usual suspects. You guys, um, is there any bases nearby? There's this. Any special regions? Is there any special regions that I can grab left? I don't think so. I think most of them have been snatched. Oh, there's actually that one down there. Yeah, so we go get that instead. Screw it. That's, that's like a game winner right there. All right. So we pillage that village, and let's run with our executioners and do this, and try and get out of here if we can. Fremen are trying to do some operations against us. Um, did we pay our, our taxes? We're about to. Okay, great. So now we're paying our taxes. You know, it was all actually part of my plan to not pay taxes, by the way. It was, it was, it was, it was intentional. It was, clearly wasn't just shitty play. All right. Are they going to move back on us? I don't think so. Um, we have our missile turret here. Uh, we can also get a manpower building. And uh, the probe is going to be scouting us out. All right, so we need to go get that special region down there. And uh, that should put us ahead. And then we can take a region from the Atreides. Oof, God, Fremen are creeping up too. Fremen clearly have passive hedge. They should. Um, something's possibly lagging right now, I think. Yeah, they have passive hedge. But I have I have several good passive hedge regions. Did we get the middle too? We did not, so we need to get that right now. So let's get this. Cut the knowledge building. Not going to be as useful at this point. And we can go here and get that and do this. Okay. How are we looking? Uh, Fremen look like they want to take this region. It's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea at all. Atreides are just expanding up this way. But we really want to get that special region. So once our big army pops out here, do we have defense breaches? We do. So we could actually go for a snipe on the Fremen base. Oh, but with Atreides that close, I feel like I need to just play for the dub here and not, not bully the Fremen so much. Okay, so that's just a regular region that they're going to get there. It's not that crazy. It'll give them like 600. It'll put them back in first, which is, you know... A little scary. Let's get some mercs. Um, and uh, all right, so the fuel cells should be coming back online. What bases are in rebel rebellion right now? Take that authority, so we can get another base after this. Now we go down here and take this uh, renegade base. So let's take that down. The Atreides, are they still in non-aggression with us? They are. So yeah, we probably he's gonna have to break that. Let's let him waste his influence, right? Okay. So, a gear sabotage from the Freeman, which is pretty funny. And we'll go ahead and take this base here, and let's do the supply drop. Do we have it? No, we're a little bit low on water. Yeah, it's a little scary, though. My army is, like, low in supplies. Okay, so we're going to try and grab this. He's going to want to break the Atreidae with us right now and attack if he can. Fremen do jump ahead, but if we get this region, that's really big. That's really, really big. Okay. And um, Fremen are coming down for a worm drop, which is going to be terrifying. Uh, so, But we need to get this region. We're just going to eat it. We're just going to sit it, you know, take it like a champ. What do you need? Let's fly these guys down here. I wish I had a worm call right now, but I only have toxic papers. All right, so we're going to get this, I think. And we just pull back, put five militia in it, and go chill in the middle is what we do after. The okay, come on, give it to me, give it to me. Why is it? Is it capturing? All right, great. He clearly was coming for blood. Let's get a missile turret here. That puts us at 28k. So now we just need to maintain our position. Um, is there any bases that are kind of cheap to get? Yeah, 280 up there. Okay. Do we have any regions that can give us uh, authority? There's so many things to capture here. Um, we have paid our spice tax, I think. Should should be paying it soon, at least. Fremen are coming. Atreides are eyeing it. We're both going after the same base. I know. Tell me about it. Yeah, we see them moving this way. Very, very sneaky. Um, the special region here, we need to get a turret, make it a little bit harder to take down. Um, I believe we can oppress these and get more hedge too. I'm not sure actually how that works. Yeah, I'm just I'm just going to be chilling in the middle and seeing what they do. We got the two military bases. Um, yes, we have another authority building, which is outstanding. So we can actually go grab another region, I believe, and just win the game. Um, it's, it's very much on the table. So we need to get like one of you guys and one of you guys. Not sure where the Fremen are going to go. We just need to mirror them, basically. Just kind of follow them around. We don't have airfields everywhere, which sucks. Plasteel buildings. Should have gotten rid of those a long time ago. Very bronze odia that I didn't. Okay, supply drop. They're going for the main base, I think. So we'll go and try and stop that. Fremen can kill main bases very quickly. Um, Alright. This is where it's going to be. 
Yeah, that's a really hard one to take. That's a really hard one. The acid lakes are just so troll. All right, so we're moving up this way. That was a, a good uh, worm attempt there for sure. I like that. I respect that. That was good. That was a good one, boss. But now we can slap the old toxic vapors or we can just land on them here. So we're going to shuttle and shuttle like right behind them. Must be an airfield range. Are they not in airfield range? They're literally near the main base. Okay. Must be an airfield range. What the hell is this? It's like it's bugging out on me. I can't I can't seem to uh to do that. Okay, can we shuttle? Okay, now it's gone. Now it makes sense. Okay, so Toxic Vapors is wrecking their army. Um let's get this uh hedge building here for the passive. I think Atreides have their own schemes. Yeah, they're trying to take territories over here. And um yeah, the Freemen are up to no good also. Okay, if I can defend this, I feel my chances of winning are pretty good. Um, but if I lose it, then yeah, we're in danger. Let's see, what other missions do we want to get? Um, toxic Vapors, we have Combat Drugs. Probably Sleeper Agents will give us a good uh, help in the fight. So Scavenger Teams, Sleeper Agent is already ready. Yeah, we already have that. So we can just get another Toxic Vapor. My attention is needed. Dune Governorship. I mean, the Governorship thing doesn't matter. So we're just going to do the War of Assassins for myself. Um, yeah. Cool. Because that will give me ways to kill units that are camping on objectives and stuff. I'm here. Alright. Yeah, hey, we got it! Didn't matter! <laughs> Anticlimactic! Holy shit. Yeah, so our plan was to use the assassins to kill the Fidekin, and then we, um, we just grab one more territory and win, but... Holy shit, that was a close game. The Fremen almost getting gov was really scary. GG, well played, man. You know, the Atreides player, he said it was one of his first games, like, he was just learning, and he did very well. He did very, very well. He, he almost came back and won that game by snaking the bottom. So well played to you, man. Shout out. That was, that was a great for like one of your first multiplayer matches or you're a newer player, you're saying. So very well played. Um, obviously, big recipe for success was killing Carino and just steamrolling them early. Um, but the Fremen were a big threat the entire game. They were, they, were, they were very rich, able to buy mercs too. That's what kind of kept them alive during some of the early fights. All right, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that one. We'll see you on the other side. Dreaded two hour and 30 minute match. Gotta love it. And, uh, you know, space sausage endures, baby. Take care of yourselves.